Chapter 1941 1941 Long Chen's stomach was like a bottomless abyss. Runes flowed within his stomach, transforming the medicinal pills into immense spurts of energy. Millions of medicinal pills were transformed into streams of energy that spread throughout Long Chen's meridians. After absorbing the Azure Dragon Essence blood, even the Swallow the Heavens, Devour the Earth Divine Ability has strengthened. Long Chen was pleasantly surprised by this effect. The transformation of the Azure Dragon Essence blood went far beyond just his physical body. Long Chen, I find that my dark evil dragon race's divine ability matches you perfectly. You should consider devouring other life forms like the dark evil dragon race. That would allow you to get stronger even faster than devouring medicinal pills. Evil Moon couldn't help interjecting. The devouring divine ability that Long Chen was displaying was even more effective than it was in the Dark Evil Dragon race. If Long Chen was willing to devour other experts to get stronger, he would have even better prospects. Having such a powerful divine ability used on just medicinal pills was a waste. That's all right. Thank you. Long Chen directly rejected the idea. After all, he wasn't a cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. He couldn't rely on eating people to live Novaloon.com Long Chen's spiritual yuan suddenly began to roil. He felt like a furnace growing hotter and hotter. So quick, Long Chen was startled. It had been less than 15 minutes, but he felt himself be on the verge of breaking through. Boom. Long Chen's aura fiercely surged as he advanced to the 10th heaven stage of soul transformation. Boom. An incense sticks worth of time later, he advanced to the 11th heaven stage. Too fast. Long Chen was excited but also stunned. This kind of rapid advancement felt refreshing. An hour later, he once more advanced, reaching the 12th heaven stage. As his aura broke through, it began to grow stronger and spread out of his control. The void rumbled and the ancestral altar shook. I've already reached the great circle. Long Chen pushed himself to keep going. He wanted to advance to just before the 13th heaven stage the point where he would be right before breaking through to Life Star. The void rumbled as Long Chen's aura grew more and more violent. The last three heaven stages of the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art are always the strongest. I can't even control my own power. Long Chen's gaze was sharp. He actually had an urge to become the ruler of this world. It was like he was to be the ruler that all others would have to look up to. Anyone who defied him would be mercilessly annihilated. His killing intent also surged out of his control. One scene after another appeared in his head. People cursing him. People slandering him. People framing him. People hunting him. All those scenes floated through his mind. He suddenly let out a howl. His killing intent erupting. His head became murky. After an unknown amount of time, Long Chen woke up. The back of his head hurt. And when he touched it, he found an egg-sized lump. Evil Moon. Did you hit me? demanded Long Chen angrily. You needed to calm down. Just now, you were almost bedeviled, said Evil Moon. It truly had been forced to attack Long Chen just now. Due to how long it had been with Long Chen, it was able to strike Long Chen before he could sense it. The Nine Star Hegemon body art is too domineering. It doesn't allow anyone to betray its will. I've suppressed it for so long that now it's erupting. Long Chen was grave. Thinking of everything that had happened just now, he felt uneasy. You're too weak, but there's no way around it. You have things holding you back, so being unfettered is impossible for you. You always have to think of others, while true experts are not tied down by such things. Continuously suppressing it won't work. The longer you suppress it, the harder it will be to control when it erupts. You have to learn how to release this pressure and find your own domineering side. Otherwise, you will sooner or later be consumed, said Evil Moon. Long Chen nodded. Everything he had was given to him by the Nine Star Hegemon body art, but as his cultivation base grew higher, he felt uneasier as if the Nine Star Hegemon body art was gradually taking control of his mind. He was forced to resist the Nine Star Hegemon body art, and that was not a good thing. Evil Moon was correct when it said that this kind of resistance was not a solution. He had to find some way to release it. Long Chen lightly punched the air. As he did so, his spiritual yuan burst forth, unleashing a giant fist image. He, the energy follows the will. There's no need for me to circulate my spiritual yuan in advance. 
The great circle of the twelfth vestige is truly powerful. Long Chen smiled. This feeling of being filled with strength was delightful. However, at the same time, he felt an urge to roar at the heavens. That urge was suppressed. He needed to stabilize his realm, or this power would cause his mental realm to become violent. Congratulations. You're just one step from advancing to life star. At this moment, Yu Zivan walked over gracefully. Anton, Long Chen hastily bowed. In front of others, he would call Yu Zivan the race leader as an expression of her status. But in private, he called her Anton. After all, she was Yu Ziaokian's mother and his future mother-in-law. First calling her aunt then mother was definitely right. As for Yu Ziaokian's father, Long Chen had always been stifling that curiosity. He had never seen Yu Ziaokian or anyone else raise this question, so he wasn't in a good position to ask. He had no idea what his future father-in-law was like. Your aura can easily harm other people's souls like this. You should rest for a few days until you can control it better, said Yu Zihan. Perhaps Long Chen didn't sense it, but Yu Zihan clearly felt a sharp domineering air coming from Long Chen that was attempting to invade her soul. If weaker experts were present, they might be injured just by his aura. This was the aura of the nine-star hegemon body art, wild and domineering, not differentiating between friend and foe. Any disciples below the life star realm wouldn't even dare to get close. Long Chen nodded. That was what he was planning. He had to first stabilize his realm before anything else. Anton, how is business going on the martial heaven continent asked Long Chen. Long Chen had been sending over more and more heavenly Tao fruits ever since the immemorial path, allowing more and more of the original devil race's disciples to walk on the continent without being found. They had started several businesses to increase the profits. Long Chen had even proposed creating a black market business. Yu Zivan smiled. It was because of the heavenly Tao fruits that the original devil race finally had a chance to gather resources on the martial heaven continent. The skyscraping world was lacking in many resources, and they had been barely holding on before. They hadn't even had the ability to open channels to the outside world. Long Chen's arrival had completely changed the original devil race's fate. They were now conducting business on the continent, buying the resources that they couldn't obtain from the skyscraping world, which greatly increased the cultivation speed of their disciples. Even geniuses would be crippled without resources. That was the power of money. The business was doing very well before. We accumulated a great deal of wealth, and by working together with the Huaian sect, we gained many resources. However, close to half a year ago, we received pressure from various areas. Our black market business has become more difficult to conduct. With greater danger, we encounter violent customers, and our profits are shrinking. Side Yu Zihan. Why didn't you tell me this before Long Chen was startled? Seeing her expression, he said, Were you embarrassed? We're a family, so that's hurtful. In truth, Yu Zivan felt that such a minor matter wasn't worth troubling Long Chen over. They should have been able to resolve this issue on their own, but there was no effect despite their best efforts. After pondering for a moment, Long Chen said, Half a year ago would be around when the various large powers began to secretly collude. They temporarily put aside their own enmities. So naturally the black market will become less efficient. That's the time when Pill Valley made agreements with those sects and when the plan for the Yin Yang world started. Just what kind of trump cards does Pill Valley have to make all those opposing powers join together against the Martial Heaven Alliance? Long Chen frowned. Pill Valley's announcement this time was clearly a bit rushed. There had to be something. The leaders of the large powers wouldn't join hands without certain benefits and assurances. They wouldn't attack an enormous existence like the Martial Heaven Alliance for nothing. Long Chen also thought of the words Luo Xianji said right before dying. He had barely gotten out that there was something behind Pill Valley before being killed. Just what was behind Pill Valley? Long Chen smelled danger. Chapter 1942 1942 Seeing Long Chen in thought, Yu Zivan smiled and shook her head. After being isolated from the continent for so long, we're not skilled in this kind of scheming. Yu Zivan felt helpless in the face of Long Chen's suspicions. After all, the original devil race was united and didn't rely on dirty schemes. 
Compared to the Martial Heaven Continent's experts, they were much purer. Anton, pull back all the disciples of the original devil race in the continent. I feel like Yu Ziaoyan's plot this time is on a much larger scale. Perhaps his goal isn't just the Martial Heaven Alliance. We should focus on safety first. As for the resource collection, I will think of something. I already have quite a few good things that you can use. There shouldn't be any shortage of resources, said Long Chen. He was unable to see through Yu Ziaoyan's plot. Yu Zivan nodded. Then I'll give the order right now. They can probably all be back in five to seven days. Long Chen immediately shook his head. That's no good. Any large-scale movements would be too conspicuous. Who knows how many eyes Yu Ziaoyan has on the continent. We also don't know if their actions are to startle us into action. Any large-scale retreat would probably be falling right for his trap. We have to retreat without causing any noise at all. All right. Then I'll send some people to do it immediately. Yu Zivan nodded. In just a moment, two elders walked in, but they came to a sudden stop when they saw Long Chen. The domineering aura being released from Long Chen made their hearts pound. Yu Zivan passed down Long Chen's orders. Once they were gone, Long Chen said, Ant Han, are there any movements on the Martial Heaven continent lately? The current Martial Heaven alliance is extremely tense. Like a talk Bao Yu Zivan told him that after killing Hu Oliyan's physical body and erasing their spiritual marks to escape Yu Ziaoyan's haunt, the entire continent was shaken. In the Yun Yang world, Long Chen had led the Dragonblood Legion and the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples to slay over two million of the greatest geniuses of the various powers. Then they had faced off against over 30 Nether Passage experts and Long Chen had even slain the Vice Island Master of Heavenly Fate Island. Then there had been a confrontation at the gates of the Martial Heaven Alliance, throwing the continent into chaos. Even an enormous entity like the Martial Heaven Alliance had been forced to the extent that they had to expel Long Chen. Who else in the world could contend against those powers? As for the matter of Pill Valley accusing Long Chen of colluding with the original devil race, no one actually believed it. This was the same old story of the boy who cried wolf. Pill Valley had tried using the same excuse to capture Long Chen multiple times now, but they had never brought out any real proof. This time was the same as there was no proof. People were already numb to this action of Pill Valley. They even felt that Pill Valley couldn't even come up with something new to be novel. They just used the same excuse over and over. Even once he was hunted down by countless experts under the pretense of this excuse, Long Chen was still capable of slaying Hu Oliyan's physical body and bringing his people away without the slightest harm. The entire continent now had an arrest warrant out for Long Chen. His picture was pasted throughout the streets of every major city. Apparently, Pill Valley was offering 10 half-step divine items and 10 billion spirit crystals as a reward to someone who offered up Long Chen's location and they would guarantee their safety. Ten half-step divine items and ten billion spirit crystals? Damn, I should just give myself up. Long Chen jumped. Pill Valley was truly willing to pay up. Speaking of which, there's something funny that happened recently. Your good brother, Mo Nian, apparently made quite a bit of money thanks to this matter. Yu Zivan laughed. What in order to express their sincerity and provide more motivation? Pill Valley displayed the reward for others to see. Mo Nian disguised himself as you, and somehow in front of everyone, managed to take the divine items and spirit crystals before escaping on the earth-splitting divine shuttle. Even a dozen nether passage experts were unable to stop him from leaving. I heard that two of them coughed up blood from fury. Yu Zivan felt a bit of admiration for Mo Nian, to be able to take something away from a dozen nether passage experts. The name of the Western wretch was well deserved. His disguise was apparently perfect. If it hadn't been for the earth splitting divine shuttle, no one would have recognized him. This fellow actually got rich just like that? Next time I see him, I'll make him split the reward for using my name. Long Chen also laughed. This fellow Mo Nian was truly talented. Thinking about Mo Nian's style, Long Chen could imagine the infuriating words he had tossed out at that time. That was why two experts would cough up blood. However, the current Martial Heaven continent is mostly in turmoil. Everyone has to be on guard. The corrupt path, ancient races, ancient family alliance, 
Schwen beasts, and even the blood kill hall are running rampant as a display of power. They'll beat whoever they don't like, saying that those people are part of your group, and they'll even kill them. Most cultivators don't even dare to go out anymore. As for Heavenly Fate Island, it is currently saying that the Martial Heaven Alliance's destiny has come to an end to shake the hearts of the righteous sects. More of them are siding with Pill Valley, sighed Yu Zihan. Long Chen nodded. Yu Ziaoyan is ruthless and ambitious. When he acts furious and unable to control his emotions, it's an act to trick us. No matter how things went, it was within the margin of error, allowing him to benefit the most. As for Heavenly Fate Island, it's an extremely special existence on the continent. Some foolish people view them as gods, thinking that they really can read the future. How laughable. Just let them make noise for now. Once I'm fully recovered, I'll definitely properly slap their faces. Long Chen had a disdainful smile on his face. Heavenly Fate Island had continuously gone against him, and they were a great threat. Although they couldn't really read the future, they had some skills which had resulted in them almost costing him his life several times. Their debt to him had been accumulating for some time now. Two days later, Long Chen came out of seclusion. His realm hadn't fully stabilized yet, but he couldn't keep waiting. The Dragonblood warriors were starting to come out of seclusion. Ha ha ha, I have a feeling like I'm completely unrivaled. I want a good opponent to test myself. Gu Yang laughed. His confidence had grown after advancing to the Life Star Realm. Then why don't you go challenge boss? Asked Guo Ran with a chortle. If you always talk that way, you won't have any friends. Gu Yang deflated, shaking his head. No matter how arrogant Gu Yang was, he wouldn't dare to challenge Long Chen. Even if Long Chen was still in the Soul Transformation Realm, Huo Lian hadn't been a match for him. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er. Yu Ziaokian, Lu Ruian, and Cloud had gathered. Tang Wan'er in particular was excited at this feeling of having her power grow so much. Boss, didn't you say we should go directly for the first Haven stitch? Why have you called us out again so early? Asked Li Qi. Because there's something that's bothering me. Furthermore, directly charging to the first Haven stitch might leave behind a slight flaw. Since that's the case, let's slow down a bit. Everyone. Come with me to search for wild. It just so happens that we can slay some powerful magical beasts as well. Those are useful to me, said Long Chen. The last time he was in the skyscraping world, wild had charged into another world. He was supposed to eat until he was satisfied, but he actually ended up getting lost. Even after all this time, there wasn't any news of wild. Although Long Chen knew how powerful wild was, to say that Long Chen wasn't the slightest bit worried about him would be a lie. Wild's head was too simple. Everyone stood in front of a spatial channel, and it was fully stable unlike before. Yu Ziaokian explained, many of the magical beasts have been killed. Not only was it a good tempering for our warriors, but we also obtained quite a few resources that we could trade with the Huaian sect. Now, we've already begun searching through that world, gradually going deeper. We're looking for any valuable ores or resources that we can gather. However, we've just started our exploration of that world, so we don't dare to go too far. My mother told me that we have to be careful. If this world has some terrifying existence inside, disturbing it could bring calamity to the original devil race. So we must be careful. That's also why we haven't found wild yet. Long Chen led the Dragonblood Legion into the channel. The endless tide of magical beasts had vanished. There were hundreds of life star experts guarding the other side of the channel. Seeing Yu Ziaokian, they all bowed. Seeing dozens of grand formations arranged on this side, Xia Chen said, Establishing all of this must have cost quite a bit of money. Yes, we hesitated a long while before building them all. It was a gamble to see if there were any valuable resources here. If we win, we'll be rich. But if we lose, We'll have lost years of income. Yu Ziaokian bitterly smiled. Don't worry about it. I have plenty of money. My money is your money. Long Chen smiled. With the primal chaos bead, he had a bottomless pit of money. Suddenly, in the distance, the earth exploded. A group of disciples of the original devil race fled over. A large pack of giant figures ride on their tails. Chapter 1943 
1943 not good. It's a 12th rank magical beast. Quick. Activate the formation shouted a life star expert of the original devil race. When a powerful 12th rank magical beasts appeared, the disciples would let them here and kill them with the formations. No need. Using your formation will waste more spirit crystals than that magical beast is worth. Xia Chen shook his head. Guo Ran had summoned his golden armor, transforming into a golden shooting star. He shot toward the magical beast a little 12th rank magical beast also dares to get arrogant Guo Ran unleashed a giant saber image at the magical beast. There were seven disciples of the original devil race fleeing. They were originally ten, but three of them had been slain by that magical beast. The magical beast was a white rhinoceros, and it was like a galloping mountain. The ground rumbled and ruptured because of it. Guo Ran's saber ruthlessly slashed into its head. A powerful shockwave spread, and the rhinoceros was sent flipping through the air. However, Guo Ran also suffered. He was knocked back into the distance. The rhinoceros let out a furious roar. Its horn suddenly lit up, and a white light shot at Guo Ran. Guo Ran's about to suffer. Long Chen's lips curled as he watched Guo Ran go all out to block. The white light passed straight through Guo Ran. A layer of white rock had covered him as he had been turned to stone. He was still in his defensive posture. After landing this attack, the rhinoceros charged toward Guo Ran to smash him apart. However, a flash of sword light swept through its neck. Its head went flying, and blood soaked the earth. Yu Zifeng slowly sheathed his sword. After advancing to the life star realm, his attacks were even sharper and faster. He could one-shot a 12th rank magical beast. Cracking sounds rang out. Guo Ran was still floating in the air as if he had been fixed there. His statue was shaking, and faint cracks spread along it. Eventually, the layer of stone on him blew apart. What happened? Asked Guo Ran in confusion. You don't feel shame asking? That white rhinoceros was a full moon stone rhinoceros and its divine ability is able to transform its enemies to stone. Even if you didn't recognize it, how could you not sense those spatial fluctuations? You just took its petrification ray head on. If you were alone, you would have been smashed apart, scolded Long Chen. Sorry boss, I got a bit arrogant. Guo Ran was ashamed. After advancing to the life star realm, he felt 12th rank magical beasts to be beneath him and he thought that he could crush it with pure power. Although Long Chen usually didn't bother with everyone's fighting styles, he was very strict with their battle attitude. They could not get careless. That could be a fatal mistake. So Guo Ran hastily admitted his mistake. Long Chen snorted and didn't say anything else. Such a low-level mistake was truly a bit infuriating, but he couldn't criticize Guo Ran too harshly. He reached out and tossed the white rhinoceros's corpse into the primal chaos space. The black soil devoured the corpse, unleashing plentiful life energy that nourished the withered world trees. However, a single 12th rank magical beast's corpse wasn't enough to cause too much of a change. The seven disciples immediately thanked Long Chen and the others upon being saved. Yu Ziaokian asked them how they had encountered a 12th rank magical beast. It had to be known that it had been a long time since they had seen a 12th rank magical beast in this region. There had been 12th rank magical beasts before, but they had been slain by the elders of the formations. Now that 12th rank magical beasts weren't seen very often, the original devil race had begun spreading and exploring more of this world. Reporting to the Sacred Daughter, we met with a sudden attack 21,000 miles southwest of the 7th Transportation Formation answered one of the disciples. The original devil race had set this place as a base as they explored further. In the relatively safer places, they had established some small transportation formations that saved them quite a bit of time. Using the channel as the base, they searched further and further. This squad of disciples had been searching a known territory beyond the seventh transportation formation. Let's go take a look. Long Chen and the others stepped onto the transportation formation. However, it wasn't a large formation, so it could only fit 500 of them at once. They would have to go in batches. The formation runes lit up, and Long Chen found himself standing atop a mountain. This transportation formation was situated in a mountain range. Once they were there, Cloud transformed into her true form and brought them flying away. 
As soon as Cloud started flying, they were unable to see anything clearly. Cloud was too fast, and their vision was unable to track anything. They could only use their divine sense. Having advanced to the 11th rank, Cloud had grown larger, and her body now emitted a primordial aura. This advancement had greatly increased her power. Before this, she had only been able to refine a portion of the blue eye peacock's essence blood. The majority of it had been sealed and stored inside her body. After advancing, she had managed to refine and absorb that stored energy. In the blink of an eye, Cloud appeared at the location that had been specified. Here there was a lake. Cloud returned to human form. Yu Ziyokian looked at the marks on the ground and said, This is definitely where they encountered the magical beast. This lake's fluctuations are a bit strange. Let's go take a look, said Long Chen. They had just approached the lake when the earth split open. A ferocious mouth flew up at them. However, that mouth had just opened when Lu Ruian waved her hand. Branches shot out, binding the mouth tight. What a big serpent, exclaimed Guo Ran. This serpent had some strange bark-like patterns on its head. Half its body was still hidden in the ground. Get out here. Lu Ruian pulled and the earth shuddered. The ground split open, and a giant magical beast was pulled out. What is this thing? Startled cries rang out. Originally they had thought that it was a serpent, but it was actually a giant tortoise with a snake-like head. Suddenly, its shell lit up and rays of divine light shot out like heavenly swords. Their hair stood on end. Long Chen shot into action, smashing the giant shell with his fist. The shell was blown apart, and the rays of light crumbled. This strange tortoise actually died from having its shell broken. Long Chen tossed it into the primal chaos space. This tortoise wasn't that far from where the white rhinoceros had been. For two twelfth rank magical beasts to be so close to each other was definitely not ordinary. This made Long Chen think of the circular mountain range in the Yun Yang world where many magical beasts had gathered. Little Snow was currently being nourished in the egg at the center of that mountain range. This might be a land of treasures. Everyone, be careful. Guo Ran, you led the way, said Long Chen. Guo Ran jumped, thinking that he was being punished. Boss, I was wrong. Stop messing around. You're the one with the best luck. So if you led. We should find the treasures faster, interrupted Long Chen. If Long Chen was the one leading the way, they would definitely run into trouble. Hearing that he was taking the lead because of his luck, Guo Ran immediately swaggered to the front. Surprisingly or unsurprisingly, Guo Ran didn't encounter any problems. They bypassed a 12th rank magical beast and it didn't attack them. It seemed to be slumbering. Long Chen was speechless. The existence known as luck was truly difficult to explain, but Guo Ran was leading them through a peaceful path. They quickly arrived at the edge of the lake. Yu Ziyokian bent down and touched the water with her hand. After sensing it for a moment, she said, This water really is strange. There are some fluctuations of divine energy. It's very gentle and can be directly absorbed by the body. However, I don't know why this is the case. Even the erudite Yu Ziyokian wasn't sure of what was going on. Long Chen scooped out a bit of the water and sniffed it. He then tasted it. This water contains a kind of mineral. If it is consumed over a long time, it can strengthen the bones and flesh. However, there are too many impurities, and it is not suitable for human bodies. It seems these 12th rank magical beasts are here because of the water. Maybe the reason why they were able to advance to the 12th rank is because of this water. So these surrounding magical beasts aren't here to attack the skyscraping world. They're defending their own territories around this lake. What we should do is investigate this lake's secrets. After all, this water is useless to us, said Long Chen. He turned to Guo Ran. Boss, just tell me what you need and I'll do it. I won't shirk from a mountain of blades or a path of flames. Guaranteed Guo Ran. All right then, put on your armor. Immediately, Guo Ran regretted his words. He had a bad feeling, but he had said his big words. Guo Ran had only just put on his armor when Long Chen kicked him in the butt, sending him flying out, like a skipping stone. Guo Ran bounced across the lake, eventually plummeting into the water. Long Chen, what are you doing? Men Chi and the others cried out in shock. It's fine. I'm just testing his luck. If his luck is really good, just this kick of mine should settle things. 
said Long Chen with a chortle. Suddenly, a golden light flew out, and Guo Ran was now holding a golden rock. He excitedly cried out, Boss, I found the treasure. Everyone became petrified. So even this method could work? Chapter 1944 1944 Guo Ran flew over, clutching a golden stone. Would this little fellow be trying to con me? Even Long Chen was startled. His kick had actually just been for Guo Ran to remember not to get arrogant, or he might lose his life. Boss, look, this is scarlet blood essence gold. It's a divine ore that can be used in forging divine items. Guo Ran's eyes were blazing. Even his voice shuddered with excitement. Everyone couldn't help but jump. It really was a treasure. The ore that Guo Ran was clutching was like gold with blood veins running through it. There was a faint divine energy coursing through it that was a bit similar to divine items. Yes, it's definitely scarlet blood essence gold, and this ore is extremely pure. You could probably refine nine-tenths of a teal of the scarlet blood essence gold from a three-feet square block of this ore. Is there more below? Asked Yu Ziaokian. Yes, it's a huge ore deposit. I just grabbed a piece and immediately came to report it, said Guo Ran. Boss, I can create divine items with this ore. You can actually forge divine items. Long Chen was startled. He, just a bit. Guo Ran was smiling brightly, but he actually acted low-key. That appearance made others want to kick him. Long Chen was truly shocked. It seemed that the ethereal crafting secret record Guo Ran had obtained in the Jiuli secret realm had truly shocking origins. It even included divine items. Although Long Chen was extremely disappointed in Guo Ran when it came to cultivation, when it came to forging, he was only filled with admiration. If Guo Ran was acting like this, then he was definitely confident in creating divine items. Even Long Chen was getting excited. The Dragonblood warriors had already advanced to Life Star, but only a portion of them had divine items. Moreover, most of those divine items also weren't weapons that they were suited to. In the Yun Yang world, many divine items had been destroyed in combat, while the survivors had mostly fled. They hadn't gained very many. If Guo Ran could create a matching armor and weapon that was on the level of divine items for each Dragonblood warrior, wouldn't they be able to flip the heavens? More and more Dragonblood warriors arrived from the transportation formation. It was only a moment later that they were all gathered. It seems we've really struck gold this time. Guo Ran. Well done. Long Chen patted Guo Ran's shoulder. Now, Long Chen believed that Guo Ran's luck was truly monstrous. He, it's all thanks to boss's nurturing. Guo Ran said humble words with the least humble expression. Everyone, move out. Form up 10 man groups led by squad leaders, and eliminate the magical beasts in the surroundings. But be careful. These magical beasts have advanced to the 12th rank thanks to this lake. Some of them possess strange divine abilities. So don't be careless. Ordered Long Chen. Yes. The Dragonblood warrior's eyes lit up. Their power had grown so much that they were itching for some powerful opponents to test it against. They spread out along the lake. Very quickly. Roars began to ring out. As expected. Many 12th rank magical beasts were hiding in the vicinity. Long Chen. Isn't it a bit dangerous for them to split into 10 man groups? Whispered Yu Ziaokian. It's fine. 10 people is already very safe. These magical beasts were originally only at the 11th rank, and they relied on this lake water to break through to the 12th rank. However, their bloodlines aren't very good, and their divine abilities aren't very strong as a result. They're a level below 12th rank magical beasts that advance to that level thanks to their bloodline and talent. Even in a one against one, I believe the Dragonblood warriors would be able to challenge them. As long as they aren't as careless as Guo Ran, there will be no problem. And there's no one as careless about their life as Guo Ran in the Dragonblood Legion, said Long Chen. Boss, I was wrong. Guo Ran raised his hands in surrender. He knew that Long Chen was still angry about his previous display. Seeing this, Long Chen hoped that he would finally remember this lesson. The Dragonblood Legion was rapidly spreading throughout the surroundings, and rumbling rang out in the distance. Their fights were extremely intense. Boss, should we go help? Probe Gu Yang. Can you grow up a bit? Are the captains really interested in fighting over other people's prey? Scolded Long Chen with a smile. It's not fighting over prey. 
Seeing them fight just makes my hands itchy. Gu Yang scratched his head. The others laughed. Gu Yang was saying what they were all thinking. Having advanced to the Life Star Realm, they all wanted to know just how strong they were. However, Long Chen's meaning was clear. These weren't very powerful 12th rank magical beasts, and they would be left to the ordinary Dragonblood warriors as training targets. They weren't for the captains. Ziaokian, does the original devil race have the ability to refine ores? Asked Long Chen. Yes, we do, but that's limited to ores on the level of ancestral items. We also have the tools to refine material on the divine item level, but they've been wasting away for countless years. I don't know if anyone is still capable of using them, said Yu Ziaokian. The original devil race had declined from their peak, and they had barely been able to scrape by. Furthermore, what were they supposed to refine while they had been blocked from the martial heaven continent? Whatever they refined couldn't be sold. As a result, the original devil race had been stuck in a vicious negative feedback loop. Many of their old inheritances had been lost. Refining ores was expensive and required investment. Even the current original devil race that was recovering couldn't quite refine this ore. He, as long as you have the ability, it's fine. I'll think of something, said Long Chen. More and more magical beasts were startled awake. The dragonblood warriors were slaying them one by one. These magical beasts were quite a bit weaker than 12th rank magical beasts that had advanced thanks to their powerful bloodlines. Hence, the Dragonblood Warriors were able to kill them in just a few exchanges. In the 10-man squads, some of the members didn't even get a chance to fight before the target was slain. Two hours later, 2312th rank magical beasts had been slain. The battle spoils went to Long Chen's primal chaos space. The immense life energy had made the world trees flourish once more, and the yin-yang immortal grass on the edge of the black soil had grown larger. It was filled with life and death energy. However, for some reason, the yin-yang immortal grass didn't possess the slightest spirituality. There were no signs of it growing a consciousness like the yin-yang immortal grass in the yin-yang world. It seemed that raising a yin-yang immortal grass like that one wasn't possible. However, it could still help him out. After the surrounding magical beasts were killed, Long Chen ordered the few water elemental warriors of the Dragonblood Legion to suck away the lake water with their magical arts. As the water level dropped, it revealed a giant mountain at the bottom. That mountain looked like it had been made of gold. Guo Ran hadn't lied. There was a giant mineral deposit here thousands of miles wide. There were also dozens of magical beasts that had been hiding in the water, but they were slain as soon as they were exposed. Once the silt at the bottom of the lake was cleaned up, they were looking at an impressive golden mountain. We're rich. This ore deposit is huge, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. Based on the terrain, at most, the part that's exposed above ground is just half of the total deposit, said Yu Ziaokian excitedly. Once this news was sent back to the original devil race, her people would definitely be overjoyed about it. Just the value of this one mineral deposit far surpassed the price of establishing the spatial channel and the grand formations. Even if they didn't gain anything else, they had profited. Ziaokian, alert the seniors of the original devil race. It would be best if they established a transportation formation right here. Don't worry about saving money. Our time is more precious said Long Chen. All right. Yu Ziaokian sent a message through the original devil race. Some elders should quickly be rushing over. Guo Ran, you stay behind. Work together on excavating and refining this ore. Give me an estimate on how long and how expensive it will be. You're an expert in this regard. So I trust you, said Long Chen. As expected, this bit of praise revitalized Guo Ran. He solemnly said, Boss, go in peace. I'll handle things here. Are you cursing me to die? Long Chen glanced at Guo Ran. Ah, I misspoke. I definitely didn't have that intention. Guo Ran apologized. Fine then. Everyone else, continue with the previous arrangement. Stay in your 10-man squads and spread out. You have compasses that are locked onto the spatial channel, so you won't get lost. If there's anything suspicious, mark it down and alert the higher-ups. Make sure to be careful said Long Chen. The Dragonblood warriors hastily flew off, spreading in every direction like a flood. Long Chen didn't give them any direction to go. 
so they could run wherever they wanted. No one knew where Wilde had run off to. Whether or not they could find him was up to luck. We should go as well. Each one of us will go in one direction. Hopefully, we can find Wild. Long Chen picked a direction. Lightning wings appeared on his back, and he shot away. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and the others also chose their directions, and flew away. Chapter 1945 1945 Long Chen didn't see any signs of intense battle as he flew through this world. Wild's battle style was completely different from magical beasts. So it should be easy to tell if he had been somewhere. Only once Long Chen had been flying for a while did he find that this world was lacking any civilization. There were no advanced life forms here. Magical beasts ruled this world. He encountered quite a few 12th rank magical beasts that blocked his path. But they were all killed by him. The magical beasts in this world were much more concentrated. Hence, even 12th rank magical beasts only had a tiny bit of territory. Some of the weaker magical beasts were forced to roam on the edges of the more powerful magical beasts' territories. The spiritual chi in the air is very dense. The earth is fertile enough to give rise to spirit grasses that can raise so many magical beasts, but it hasn't given rise to a food chain collapse. How curious. In any world, there needed to be an equilibrium. The big fish ate the small fish. The small fish ate the worms. He couldn't comprehend how this world was able to maintain its order when there were so many powerful magical beasts present in such close quarters. The further he went, the stronger the magical beasts became. Although they were still at the twelfth rank, there were immense differences in their level. For humans, the Nether Passage realm was split into four stages. The initial life and death realm, the life realm, the death realm, and the Samsara realm. The difference between these four levels was immense. Of all the experts that Long Chen had encountered, the only ones he knew that had reached the third step, the Death Realm, were the Grand Elders of the Martial Heaven Alliance. As for the fourth realm, the Samsara Realm, he knew of no one who had reached that level. However, Long Chen did guess that the High Priest was a legendary existence at the peak of Nether Passage Realm based on how he had so easily resolved Yu Ziaoyan and the old man's attacks. However, that was just a suspicion, and he couldn't say for sure. As for 12th rank magical beasts, their ranking wasn't as clear, but the human race had also divided them into four levels. They were split into the early, mid, late, and peak stage 12th rank magical beasts. Usually, their bloodlines decided their limits. Some magical beasts would never be able to advance past the early 12th rank due to their bloodlines. The magical beasts he saw as he was flying were still all at the early 12th rank. But even though they were still at the early stage, their actual combat power was increasing as he went in deeper. Perhaps this world has a terrifying existence in control of it. No wonder Anton doesn't dare to go openly explore it. Boom. Long Chen was in the midst of thinking when a giant flame sphere shot at him. Hence, he unleashed a punch, blowing apart the flame sphere. As soon as he did so, a giant mouth swallowed him. The mouth had just closed when a saber image pierced its head. Long Chen cut off the majority of this giant head. A giant figure fell to the ground. It was a lion in golden fur. The explosive flame golden lion. Long Chen was startled. This magical beast was quite famous for its power, for its fur to all be a perfect golden color. It clearly had quite a pure bloodline. Hesitating, Long Chen decided not to throw it into the primal chaos space. Its hide was a luxury item that could be sold for a great profit. Such explosive flame golden lions were almost gone from the martial heaven continent. He could sell it for a tidy profit. Consuming it for life energy would be a pity. He had just flown away when he suddenly noticed a giant lair on a mountain. There were five furry fellows lying inside. Young ones. Long Chen was delighted and immediately flew over. A giant cave had been dug into the mountain, and a giant hideout had been made out of bones. The smell was difficult to bear. Five explosive flame golden lions were lying inside, and they were sound asleep. Each of them was only a couple dozen meters long. Ha ha ha. I've found a treasure. These five explosive flame golden lions would definitely possess great killing power if they were raised properly and fought alongside their masters. Long Chen placed them inside a life ring. They were still too young to resist. Amazing. 
They're much more impressive than the blood pattern lion vulture that Guo Ran and the others had found before. And it just so happens that Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and Yu Zifeng can each have one. Long Chen smiled. He could already see the day when they raised them into powerful beasts. Furthermore, with a beast tamer like Meng Qi present, they would be raised perfectly, with special resources that would stimulate their bloodline. They would be much stronger than if they grew up in the wild. This truly was a good place. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. What if he could find each dragon blood warrior a powerful 12th rank magical beast as a steed? Just how awe-inspiring would they appear then? Long Chen continued onward. He didn't know if the five explosive flame golden lions had ended up using up all his luck or not, but he didn't encounter any particularly powerful magical beasts again, let alone young ones that could be captured. For three days, he continued flying, and the magical beasts started to grow sparse. Long Chen gradually began to have a bad feeling. He smelled danger ahead. He was about to continue carefully exploring this region when he suddenly took out a jade plate. Wild's been found. Long Chen didn't care what danger was ahead. He returned down his original path. When he arrived at the ore deposit they had found, he saw millions of experts from the original devil race busy excavating the ore and bringing it to the skyscraping world. Boss, we've found Wild's whereabouts but we've run into trouble. Wild's being chased down by some terrifying monster and is in a critical situation. These are the coordinates. One of the Dragonblood warriors immediately gave Long Chen another jade plate upon seeing him. I understand. You continue waiting here for the others. Long Chen nodded and rushed off in the direction indicated by the jade plate. He was flying as fast as he could, but it was a full 12 hours before he arrived at the coordinates. Wild was nowhere to be seen. Instead, all Long Chen saw was a ruined battlefield. Sensing the surroundings and disarray, he suddenly flew to the left. After an incense stick's worth of time, he heard intense rumbling sounds coming from in front of him. The ground was shaking intensely. Once he was closer, he saw a giant figure. It was actually a giant pitch black ape. It had thorn-like fur and a pair of golden eyes. There were runes flickering within its golden eyes. It held a bone club and was crazily roaring. In front of the giant ape, Long Chen saw Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, Yu Xiaokian, Lu Ruian, Chu Yao, and over 2,000 Dragonblood warriors. Everyone was rushing over here as fast as possible, but the others were still on their way. Behind them, Long Chen saw Wild, who was covered in blood. His original robes were nothing more than tattered rags, so he was wearing a beast hide. He held a giant bowl and was crazily eating from it. The bowl held 12th rank magical beast corpses that had been shrunk down. Wild was scarfing them down like a hungry wolf. Boom. The giant ape's bone club smashed down. And Li Qi and Song Mingguan's earth giants were blown apart by that one attack. Both of them were forced to hastily block with divine items. Noveloon.com as a result. Their divine items also exploded. The two of them let out a muffled groan as they were sent flying. Even after advancing to the life star realm and gaining control of a bit of world energy, they were unable to block that ape's attack. The ape's bone club once more smashed down, but wooden stakes suddenly shot out of the ground like pythons, binding the ape. At the same time as Chu Yao took action, Lu Ruian unleashed waves of branches that were like chains, also attempting to bind the ape. The ape suddenly roared and a savage aura erupted. The runes in its eyes lit up, and Chu Yao and Lu Ruian's bindings were blown apart. How is this possible? exclaimed Chu Yao as she fell back. Just why was this giant ape so powerful? Suddenly, a black light sword pierced down from the sky. It accurately struck the giant ape right in the head, but the giant ape was only knocked back a bit. That attack barely caused it to bleed. The ape was enraged and it swung its club through the air at the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow that had just come. Cloud twisted through the air, narrowly avoiding this attack. Menchi called out, Everyone, be careful. This is a golden eye berserk ape. It's an ancient species, and although it's a magical beast, it's incredibly powerful. There are already three golden spots in its eyes, meaning it has advanced to the late 12th rank and is comparable to death realm nether passage experts. 
Its bone club is also very strange and possesses its own divine abilities. Even half-step divine items will be smashed apart upon contact. As a beast tamer, Menchi even knew magical beasts that only existed in legend. Hearing that it could match death stage nether passage experts, everyone jumped in shock. No wonder it was so powerful. Sister Menchi, what is its weak spot? How can we beat it? Asked Chu Yao. It has no weak spots. We have to take advantage of while it still hasn't gone berserk to run. Cloud can swallow us again and watch out. Just at this moment, the Golden Eye Berserk 8 grabbed its giant bone club with both hands, and divine light lit up on it. That light enveloped Menchi and Cloud. In that instant, they were shocked to find that they couldn't move. The Golden Eye Berserk 8 roared and smashed the club at them. Wild put away his bowl, shooting out like a bolt of lightning at it. However, just as Wild shot out, an evil air filled the world. A black saber slammed into the bone club. Chapter 1946. 1946 Boom. Evil Moon smashed right into the bone club. The sound of their collision was bizarre as countless divine runes clashed against each other. Powerful astral winds erupted, and an irresistible force blew back the others. Boss. The world shuddered as Long Chen pressed down as hard as he could with Evil Moon. However, he felt the Golden Eye Berserk Ape's power grow stronger and stronger. He couldn't stop it. Noveloon.com Long Chen. Don't anger it. It's going to go berserk, shouted Meng Chi. The runes in the ape's eyes were revolving faster and faster. That was a sign it was going to enter its berserk state. Wild. Attack it from behind. Whether or not we can beat it depends on you, shouted Long Chen. Suddenly, Long Chen's aura changed. A powerful dragon might sort out of him. He was actually activating his spirit blood and all the dragon blood warriors shook. Their own blood was resonating. The golden runes in the ape's eyes instantly became sluggish. For the first time, it appeared a bit afraid. Boom. The ape was suddenly blown back by Long Chen's saber. It stumbled back three steps, each step causing the ground to shake and crumble. However, just as it was about to stabilize itself, a giant figure appeared behind it. Wild had actually transformed into a silver giant. He was the same size as the golden ape, and he suddenly bit down on its neck. The golden eye berserk ape roared. It tried to shake off Wild, but Wild refused to let go. He began to rip out chunks of its flesh with his teeth. Wild managed to tear all the way down to the bones, but then even those bones crunched and broke. Wild's teeth were shockingly sharp. The golden eye berserk ape tried to enter its berserk state but it failed over and over again due to Long Chen's dragon might. The bones in its neck eventually shattered, and it lost balance. At that moment, Long Chen stabbed it through its head, killing it. It died without being able to unleash its true power. Once its corpse fell to the ground, Wild returned to his normal size. He ran over to Long Chen. His eyes read, Brother Long, I missed you. I was looking for you everywhere, but I never found you. Large tears squeezed out of Wild's eyes. He had gotten lost not long after entering this world, but in his panic upon finding he was lost, he found that he had no idea how to return. He had been looking for the way back all this time. It could be said that it had been a kind of torment for him, so he was emotional enough to cry upon seeing Long Chen. Good brother, it's fine. Aren't I right here? Comforted Long Chen. Wild had grown even stronger but his heart was still as pure as ever. He was still that brother who would take a whip for someone just because of a bun. Long Chen felt some shame. He had thought that Wild would know that all he had to do was eat and sleep. He hadn't thought that Wild was so dependent on him. After comforting him, Long Chen asked what had happened during his time in this world. By now, all the Dragonblood warriors had already arrived. However, the newcomers were too late. The battle had already ended. They came over to greet Wild. Last time, when Wild woke up, Long Chen had brought him to the skyscraping world before they had gotten time to catch up. With everyone gathered, Wild began to tell a story. However, his childlike way of thinking meant it was difficult to piece together the whole story. Even his memories weren't very connected. However, they came to a general understanding that Wild had been hunting down powerful magical beasts upon entering this world but only when he was full did he realize he didn't know the way back. Wild had been working hard to return, 
but he had actually been getting further and further away. When he was hungry, he would kill some magical beasts. Once he was full, he would continue searching. After several months, it was unknown just how many magical beasts he had killed. Wild's horns had turned silver now, with silver runes flowing on top of them. A fiendish aura came from them that frightened the others despite knowing that Wild was on their side. Perhaps it was because he had consumed too many magical beasts, but Wild's body now had a desolate aura around it. His giant body, which was close to six meters tall, was bulging with energy. It was like he could smash a person apart with a punch. They instinctively felt on guard against him. The sight of Wild tearing into the golden eye berserk ape's flesh repeatedly was many times more frightening than the sight of a magical beast eating. After all, Wild was in human form. Wild didn't even realize how much stronger he had gotten. All his focus had been on returning home. Regretfully, he had ended up charging even deeper into this foreign world. The original devil race was unable to go that deep. This time, Wild had been hunted down by the Golden Eye Berserk Ape and coincidentally ran into the area that the Dragonblood Legion had been searching. Wild, how did you provoke this Golden Eye Berserk Ape? Asked Meng Chi. It seems I ate a few apes that looked like it. I got beaten pretty badly at the time, and it wasn't easy to run away. But after eating some more, I snuck my way back. I wanted to take its club. It's definitely a treasure, and it's really painful being hit by it. I needed such a weapon, but I didn't succeed in sneaking away with it. So we started fighting. With its club, I couldn't beat it. So after I started feeling hungry again, I had to run away. But the second time, it chased me down. Then I ran into you guys. Wild rubbed the bone club with a happy smile. How heavy. Long Chen tried to pick up the club, and he almost failed. The current Long Chen had already undergone the transformation of the Azure Dragon Essence blood, but the club was still almost too heavy for him to pick up. Seeing Long Chen's expression change, Gu Yang also walked over. He tried to hold it, and as a result, as soon as Long Chen lightened his hold, Gu Yang's body sank into the ground. Long Chen hastily picked the club back up. Even Gu Yang was unable to carry such a heavy object without activating the Dragon Blood Battle Armor. As for Wild, he wielded it easily. Clearly, his power had reached an inconceivable level during this time. This bone club is a remnant of an ascender. If this club was left behind by a magical beast from this world, then we're really in danger, said Yu Ziaokian after closely examining the bone club. Its origins had to be terrifying. It was even able to easily smash apart half-step divine items. Long Chen understood. Yu Ziaokian was worried that this bone club might have been left behind by some unknown race. If that race still existed, then the original devil race would be in trouble now that they were exploring their world. It might result in the destruction of their race just like Yu Zihan feared. Let's go back. We'll leave a mark for this place and make it off-limits in the future. Also. Make a mark for the area that's already been explored. In the future, our original devil race can just move about in this small region, said Long Chen. In any case, the area that the Dragonblood Warriors have explored during this time should be large enough for you to spend decades looking through carefully. Yu Ziaokian nodded. After that, Wild took the corpse of the Golden Eye Berserk Ape. He said that its flesh was very beneficial to him. He could eat it for a long time and this was the biggest ration he had ever gained in all of history. On the way back, Long Chen learned that everyone had made many gains. They had killed an uncountable number of 12th rank magical beasts. In fact, each person managed to obtain several eggs or some young of magical beasts. Boss, we can give everyone a 12th rank magical beast as a steed. Gu Yang was extremely excited. If the Dragonblood Legion rode into battle on over 10,000 12th rank magical beasts, just how imposing would that be? There was no such precedent in the Martial Heaven continent. What about these? Long Chen handed over a life ring. Gu Yang opened it and took out the five furry fellows inside. Wow, what cute little fellows. These are explosive flame golden lions, exclaimed Meng Chi instantly. Are these lions powerful? asked Gu Yang. Of course they're powerful. These explosive flame golden lions possess extremely pure bloodlines based on the color of their fur. 
if they are given the right medicines and nutrients to stimulate their potential, they'll definitely enter the mid-twelfth rank after maturing. Even the late twelfth rank is possible the late twelfth rank? So they would be as powerful as that Golden Eye Berserk Ape? No, that's impossible. The Golden Eye Berserk Ape is actually more terrifying than you imagine. It was simply cowed by Long Chen's dragon might, so it was unable to enter its berserk state. If it was in its berserk state, then even a true third step nether passage expert would have to avoid it. As for us, we'd have to run for our lives. There's no way that the explosive flame golden lions can compare to it, but they're still very powerful. They also possess an innate flame energy which will be extremely helpful in the future if they're properly raised. Upon saying that, Menchi smiled. Most importantly, once they've matured, they'll be powerful and look impressive. You'll definitely fall in love with them. Gu Yang and the others learned that these five explosive flame golden lions were actually being left to the four captains and Guo Ran. So they were delighted. They had found wild, explored a large region, and obtained plentiful gains. They excitedly returned back to the base. Chapter 1947 1947 Wilde's return lifted a weight from Long Chen's heart. After a thorough examination of Wilde's body, Long Chen found that Wilde was truly a monster. His body was even a bit tougher than Long Chen's. It had to be known that Long Chen's body had been reconstructed by the Azure Dragon Essence Blood. It had finally finished the reconstruction, bringing him to an unprecedented power level. But Wilde's physical body was even stronger than his. As for the Bone Club, Wilde adored it. The curious thing was that despite not knowing any magical arts, Wilde could transform the bone club size according to his will. Wilde finally had a weapon that he loved. The Dragonblood Legion celebrated Wilde's return for three days with a feast. Once the celebration was over, Guo Ran took Long Chen away for a private chat. Boss, there's several times more Scarlet Blood Essence Gold than we expected. Do you want to sell some of the ore for money? asked Guo Ran. Are we lacking money? Guo Ran nodded. Yes. I've finished the estimates you asked me to do. Creating a perfect armor and weapon set on the divine item level for 12,000 people will require a shocking amount of supplementary material. I feel like I might have bragged a bit harder than I could. Creating divine items takes a long time, and we lack the foundation for that. Guo Ran was speaking the truth. Divine items were not so easy to create. Even if Guo Ran had the ability, the cost would be enough to make someone crazy. Guo Ran had only made an initial calculation, and there were many other things that hadn't been factored in yet. Hence, he was already feeling like this wasn't possible. That was why Guo Ran wanted to sell some of the Scarlet Blood Essence Gold. However, he didn't know the market price of it, so he would need to calculate how much could be sold and for how much profit before taking the next step. We can't sell the Scarlet Blood Essence Gold. We don't just need to outfit ourselves, but we also need to equip the original Devil Race, our allies. Speaking of which, is the original Devil Race's equipment capable of refining the ore? The original Devil Race's foundation is extremely amazing. Their equipment is marvelous, and although it's been set aside for countless years, all of it is undamaged. The race leader has already ordered some forging masters to begin studying the techniques for forging divine items. They have their own forging arts, and those forging masters were previously capable of creating ancestral items. All they need is some practice and they should be capable of using the special crafting methods of the original devil race to create divine items. Guo Ran was filled with praise for the original devil race's techniques and tools. They were truly worthy of an existence that had survived for eons. Although they had declined, their inheritance had not been severed. In other words, we have the skills, the equipment, the people, and can get any materials. We're just lacking money. Yes, that's about right. Crafting divine items requires some auxiliary materials. Buying those materials is possible, but it requires a shocking amount of money, said Guo Ran gravely. How much money do you estimate even in the best case scenario? We would need this much. Guo Ran raised five fingers. Fifty billion spirit crystals. Despite being prepared for that number, Long Chen was still shocked. Boss, it's five hundred billion spirit crystals. And that's a conservative estimate. Once we really start crafting, 
that number might get broken through in an instant. Guo Ran bitterly smiled. 500 billion spirit crystals. Guo Ran didn't even dare to imagine just how much money that really was. This was the lowest estimate for creating 12,000 sets of armor and weapons on the divine item level. This number was only so low because they had the scarlet blood essence gold. Long Chen sucked in a cold gasp of air. It had to be known that the entire reconstruction of the Zhuangshan Dao sect had cost under 10 billion spirit crystals. Creating these divine items would be equivalent to building 50 Zhuangshan Dao sects. The current Zhuangshan Dao sect was number one in the eastern Xuan region and possessed the strongest foundation. It was a foundation that Long Chen had created with money. At that time, to reconstruct the sect, he had been rushing everywhere, getting a lot of spirit crystals from the Huaian sect and the corrupt path, as well as the money that the Zhuangshan Dao sect possessed itself, and only then had they managed to finish the construction. However, now they needed 500 billion spirit crystals. The Dragonblood warriors need these divine items. No matter how much money it takes, we need to do it. People like Huo Liyan, True Immortal Jiaoki, Ziluo, Difang, and the others have top-grade divine items. If they charged into the Dragonblood Legion in their current state, there would be heavy losses. I'll think of something for the money issues. Has the refinement of the Scarlet Blood Essence Gold already started? We started the refinement the day after we found the ore, said Guo Ran. After all, even if Long Chen wanted to sell it, they could sell the already refined Scarlet Blood Essence Gold for even more money. The original Devil Race had a great deal of manpower, and the equipment was readily available. Using it was very convenient, so they were very efficient. All right, keep an eye on things. Do your best to extract as much Scarlet Blood Essence Gold as you can. As for the other requirements, give me a list. A while later, Long Chen received a list with hundreds of divine materials that they needed. Creating a divine item required many materials. Long Chen didn't know anything about this regard, so he simply put the list away. He gathered everyone up, making them go into seclusion. They had to raise their cultivation bases to the first heaven stage so that they could truly control their world energy. The Dragonblood Warrior's confidence which had risen thanks to advancing to the Life Star Realm had been suppressed by the Golden Eye Berserk Ape. That was even better for their cultivation. After arranging this, Long Chen said goodbye to Yu Zihan, once more entering the Martial Heaven Continent from the original Devil Race's transportation formation. Fuck. I'm finally back. Pill Valley, come at me. Smelling the familiar scent of the Martial Heaven Continent, Long Chen smiled. He rushed off. The first place he wanted to go was the Eastern Xuan region. This time, he had no disguise. He swaggered into the Eastern Xuan city brazenly. When he arrived, he caused a clamor. Countless experts fled as if fleeing from a demon. Long Chen ignored them and walked directly into the Huaian Pavilion in the city. Within the pavilion, he saw Zheng Wenlong, Brother Long, for you to see me urgently. It seems you have some big business for me. Zheng Wenlong laughed. I'm sure Brother Wenlong is a busy man. Each blink of an eye probably represents hundreds of thousands of spirit crystals to you. If I didn't have something big for you, how could I waste your time? Long Chen also laughed. My Huaian sect is just a little business that invests its capital to make interest. But Brother Long is an empty-handed wolf with no capital. So tell me, what kind of stolen goods do you want me to get rid of this time? Zheng Wenlong poured a cup of tea for Long Chen before sitting down. Long Chen received the cup with a bitter smile. The pillar that the Huaian sect is grooming is still drinking the same tea as back then? No wonder it's said that the richer someone is, the stingier they are. This tea was the same tea that Zheng Wenlong had used back in the eastern wasteland. This kind of tea no longer suited Zheng Wenlong's high status. Haha, <laughs> isn't this called not forgetting my original heart? Back then, we both had to bitterly save up everything that snowballed us into our current levels. Don't look at my high status and think that life is easy for me now. The pressure is immense. Pill Valley in particular has been pressing on us lately, making our business more difficult to carry out. Brother Long, hurry and give me some new business, or I'll starve said Zheng Wenlong. Ha, huh, I find that you business people really like to talk about being poor the richer you get. Look at me, 
I never cried that I was poor. Not because I didn't want to cry, but because I didn't have the energy to cry, said Long Chen. Jung Wenlong laughed. All right, then when it comes to crying about being poor, I'm not your match. Let's circle back to the main topic. What business do you have for me this time? I'm lacking money and a great deal of it. So I want to sell some things to you. Lacking money is no problem, as long as you have good products. The current Jung Wenlong had a high position. Hua Mingxiang had followed Maru Ayan's suggestion and given Jung Wenlong even more authority. Let's eat while we talk about it. Long Chen took out a large baking tray and put strips of fish meat on top of it. As a result, popping sounds rang out as the oil boiled, and a fragrant scent filled the air. Haha, <laughs> Brother Long's cooking definitely isn't ordinary. It seems my mouth will be blessed. Jung Wenlong knew that with Long Chen's character, he wouldn't bring out something unless it was good. When the fish was ready, he took a bite of it. Fragrance erupted, and it dissolved in his mouth. He felt all his pores open and his blood quicken. Some kind of energy merged into his blood. This is, eat some more and you'll be able to guess. Long Chen also took a piece of fish for himself. Jung Wenlong took some more bites, his expression gradually changing. This is, scarlet blood spirit fish. For it to be this big, it has to be a fish king level. You actually ate it like this. The Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish was the most precious ancient spiritual life form. Their blood could stimulate a person's spirit blood, awakening their hidden potential. Their value was inestimable. However, if this fish was cooked, it would lose 80% of its energy. So Jung Wenlong was staring at Long Chen in disbelief. This is the only way to not bring down your new status. Long Chen smiled. You actually ate such a precious natural treasure? I'm afraid of facing karmic retribution. Jung Wenlong bitterly smiled, but since the fish had been cooked, he ate some more. Brother Wenlong, one of the things I came with today is the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish. Do you feel like selling them would be profitable? Chapter 1948 1948 of course it'll be profitable. My guess would be that you obtained the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish in the Yin Yang world. I'll tell you this, in the past few days, some people in possession of Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish have come to auction them off in our auction houses. As a result, one Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish that was one foot long was sold for 300,000 Spirit Crystals. After that auction, the rest of the continent went mad, with all the various powers trying to obtain the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish. Some ancient families in particular went crazy. Much of the blessings of their ancestors have been lost, so they want to use the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish to awaken that power. As for this fish that we're eating, it has reached three feet in length. It can count as a fish king, and the price could surpass three million spirit crystals. Ugh such a waste of money. I hope the wealth god doesn't punish me. Such extravagance is against one of the Huaian sect's eight commandments. Jung Wenlong bitterly smiled. He, that's good. What extravagance. Accompanying a client to a meal is very normal. Eat some more. Long Chen was delighted to hear that the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish was so valuable. The reason for their popularity wasn't just because of their miraculous abilities to awaken someone's bloodline. Another aspect was their delicious taste. It was irresistible. Although Jung Wenlong complained about this being too luxurious, his chopsticks never stopped. A large fish was finished just like this. Long Chen wiped his mouth with a napkin. He smiled. Brother Wenlong, there's a saying that it's easier to bargain after treating someone to a meal. Jung Wenlong hastily raised a hand. Stop right there. That might be true for others, but it won't work this time. Don't try to dredge up any benefits from me. I'm so poor that my underpants are too loose for me to wear now. If you don't believe me, I'll show you. Damn. As expected, the bigger their business the more stingy people become. Fine, then I'll show you my products. Long Chen waved his hand, and a giant scarlet blood spirit fish appeared on the table. It was three meters long and still flopping. Seeing that giant scarlet blood spirit fish, Jung Wenlong jumped in shock. He didn't even know that scarlet blood spirit fish could grow to such a size. Just how effective would its essence blood be? This is a real fish king, while what we ate before was nothing. Brother Wenlong, can you tell me what price this fish king would sell for? Asked Long Chen. 
Zheng Wenlong closely examined it. He even made a close inspection of its tail, fins, and stomach before saying, this fish king should have surpassed 3,000 years of age based on its scales and fins. Its essence blood must be much purer, most likely 10 times greater than ordinary scarlet blood spirit fish. Such a thing is essentially priceless. It doesn't exist on the market. If a genius were allowed to absorb its essence blood, the chances of them awakening their latent bloodline potential would be extremely high. So I can't really give an estimate of its price. But based on the value of an ordinary scarlet blood spirit fish, this fish king should be worth around 5 to 8 million spirit crystals. If it was auctioned, it would probably sell for several times more due to its rarity. Zheng Wenlong's estimate was very conservative. There was no way to estimate a price if it was auctioned. But 5 to 8 million spirit crystals would be the base price at an auction. 1 would be 5 million. 10 would be 50 million. A hundred would be five hundred million. So then a hundred thousand of them should be enough. Long Chen's eyes lit up. Could this problem really be resolved just like this? You. You want to sell a hundred thousand of them. Zheng Wenlong almost jumped out of his skin. Long Chen actually had a hundred thousand scarlet blood spirit fish of this size? Yes. I need around five hundred billion spirit crystals. And I'm in a rush. Five hundred billion. Zheng Wenlong gasped. Just what was Long Chen planning on doing with this money? That was a number even he didn't dare to imagine. What? Can the Huai insect not handle this business? Asked Long Chen. We definitely can. But I'll have to ask the sect leader for instructions for such a huge transaction. Also, I should warn you that selling so many scarlet blood spirit fish will lower their individual value. Said Zheng Wenlong. From a business standpoint. He didn't want Long Chen to sell so many at once. There's no way around it. I'm in urgent need of money. Furthermore, the 500 billion spirit crystals probably won't be enough. I don't know much about business, and I don't have time to haggle over it. Since I trust you and the Huai insect, how about this? I'll give you 200,000 scarlet blood spirit fish as collateral. I'm in urgent need of expensive materials, and I don't want to wait an extra second. I also have some other spoils from the yin-yang world, including some divine items that I don't need. Other than that, I'm prepared to give you a few medicinal pills. I hope that the Huai insect can focus more on its alchemy department and fight over the medicinal pill marketplace with Pill Valley. This matter is too big. I have to speak with the sect master. It would be best if you spoke personally to him. Wait here for a moment. I'll be right back. Zheng Wenlong left. Although his status was extremely high in the Huai insect, and there was no one in the junior generation with such a high level, this matter wasn't just about money. It also involved their fight against Pill Valley. You're back so quick? What? Did the higher-ups not consent? In just a moment, Zheng Wenlong returned and his expression was a bit strange. Startling Long Chen. If the higher-ups didn't consent, he wouldn't be able to get the money. Zheng Wenlong shook his head. He sighed. The higher-ups want me to handle it myself. That's a good thing. It means your authority has risen once more. Long Chen smiled. For them to even let Zheng Wenlong handle such a major matter, it seemed that they were raising him to be the next sect master. If Zheng Wenlong was the master of the Huai sect, wouldn't he have as much money as he wanted in the future? Zheng Wenlong bitterly smiled. The greater my authority, the greater the responsibility. Going directly against Pill Valley isn't something I'm confident in. TCH. What are you afraid of? I've been going against Pill Valley ever since the Pill Tower in the Eastern Wastelands. But aren't I still living happily? Let me tell you. This is a kind of test the higher-ups have given you. They want you to accumulate experience. Plus, the Huai Insect and Pill Valley are both enormous existences. You're on the same level. So why worry? I didn't have anyone backing me, but if I was backed by an enormous existence like the Huai insect, would you believe me if I said I could bankrupt Pill Valley within three years? How could Zheng Wenlong believe that? Or how could he not believe that? Even without any backing, Long Chen had managed to throw the continent into chaos. If he actually had a powerful backer, perhaps the continent would be under his control now. However, Zheng Wenlong was not Long Chen. He was a businessman and had to view this from a business standpoint. 
calculating the profits and expenses, the danger and risk. He could not get hot-headed. Fine, give me the list of things that you need. I'll see how much I can gather. However, I definitely don't have enough money to buy it all right now, so it'll have to be bought in batches. But don't worry, since the higher-ups have given me this authority, I can gather some resources from the headquarters without wasting any time. As for the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish, give them to me. I definitely won't be selling them all at once. We might be brothers, but business is business. To lower the risk, I can only count each Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish as 3 million spirit crystals. Once they're all sold, we can recalculate the actual price they sold for. As for your divine items, they're easy to handle. Other than Pill Valley, every other major power on the continent is secretly trying to keep up a good relationship with us. Selling the divine items to them won't cause any trouble. As for the pill formulas, it's still the same rules. Once they've been successfully sold, you'll be given a share based on the profit. However, that will be much slower. All right, I don't really need to know all the details. I just want to urgently gather these resources. Let me put it to you this way. I'm preparing to do something big. So these resources are necessary, said Long Chen. Right now, he was being hunted by the various major powers of the continent. That was because he didn't have the power to challenge them. However, that was only now. With the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish having awakened the Dragon Blood Warrior's bloodlines, as long as they reached the first Havenstage of Life Star, they would be able to control world energy. Over 12,000 Life Star Empyreans with divine items. Just who would they be afraid of? Long Chen was in a race against time because Pill Valley would not be waiting around either. He didn't know what kind of scheme they were plotting, but he had to raise his power until he could contend against the major powers. Long Chen then handed hundreds of divine items to Zheng Wenlong. Those were divine items with strange forms and usages that the Dragon Blood Legion couldn't use. Long Chen wrote down hundreds of pill formulas, making Zheng Wenlong jump. Those pills were the most popular pills that Pill Valley sold. If the Huai insect could make them as well, perhaps they'd be able to take over half of the pill market. Zheng Wenlong knew that Long Chen was getting ruthless. He wanted Pill Valley to suffer, so he was ruining their monopoly on their core pills. Zheng Wenlong had always felt Long Chen to be mysterious. It seemed that there was no one else in this world who would do things like him. After writing out the pill formulas, Long Chen was preparing to leave. However, Zheng Wenlong clenched his teeth, hesitating. Brother Long, there is a certain matter that I don't know whether or not I should tell you about. Right double quotation mark. Chapter 1949. 1949 what is it? Long Chen was startled. He suddenly had a bad feeling. With Zheng Wenlong's calm demeanor, and adding on this hesitation, it probably wasn't anything good. During the time that you vanished. The Xuan Beasts joined with Heavenly Fate Island to calculate the whereabouts of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. I heard that the Xuan Beasts managed to take over two of their secret strongholds, said Zheng Wenlong carefully. Upon hearing this, Long Chen's expression immediately turned cold. Killing intent appeared in his eyes. What was this? Unable to capture him, they had turned their blades on others? However, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race was viewed as traitors by the Xuan beasts. The two sides had a deep enmity against each other that stretched back a long time ago. The Xuan beasts' actions could be justified by that, but Zheng Wenlong felt differently. I'm afraid that the dragon slaughter convention from the Grand Han will reoccur. For others, the same trap won't work twice. But for you, Long Chen, no matter how many times they do this, it will still be effective. Your weakness is clear to others. Long Chen's weakness was that even if he knew he was sending himself to his death, he would still go if his companions were captured. If Pill Valley was involved, they wouldn't give him any chance to escape. So Zheng Wenlong was warning Long Chen, despite knowing that he couldn't change what Long Chen would do. As friends, some things still had to be said. However, you don't need to worry. Based on what I know, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race has hundreds of secret strongholds throughout the Martial Heaven continent. As for their main headquarters, even Heavenly Fate Island is unable to find it. Most likely, it is protected by their ancestral spirits. 
What I'm afraid of is this matter being learned by the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow that's with you. She might go to help, disregarding everything else, and then you'd go save her. That would once more be falling for their trap, warned Jung Wenlong. Long Chen nodded. I won't tell Cloud about this for now. Fuck. It really is one scheme after another. Pill Valley is truly insidious. Yu Ziaoyan is a wily old fox. Many people have been tricked by him. He has been arranging things for many years, and it's unknown how many chess pieces he has secretly set up. He is ruthless and ambitious, as well as frighteningly patient, said Jung Wenlong. For the higher-ups to tell him to handle this on his own, it was clear they wanted to use Long Chen's matter to temper him. But in the face of Yu Ziaoyan, Jung Wenlong knew he was lacking many things. It shouldn't just be this, right? Long Chen looked at Jung Wenlong. Jung Wenlong nodded. The Zhuangshan Dao sect and the Heaven Splitting Battle sect are under tight observation. Each of their movements is under the control of Pill Valley. As for that old man of yours, he almost went berserk, wanting to kill all those people. Alliance Head Ku had to personally hold him back. The old man has never lowered his head to anyone. Ugh, I ended up implicating him, sighed Long Chen. The stubborn old man had actually held back just because of him. All right, I understand. Get to the real issue. Jung Wenlong was pacing around the room. It was clear he was still struggling. Tell me, you're not a businessman. You're my brother, said Long Chen. Jung Wenlong bitterly smiled. Whether it's from a business standpoint or the standpoint of your brother, I shouldn't say. But I know that if I don't, you'll hate me for the rest of your life. What I have to tell you is that Len Yuian is currently in trouble. She will soon be executed. What Long Chen jumped up, his killing intent once more soaring. I knew that you wouldn't be able to remain calm. To help you in the Yun Yang world, she heavily injured Zi Luo. As a result, that infuriated Zi Wentian, and he captured her, not giving her any chance to quibble. She's imprisoned currently. Although Len Yuian is a genius whose talent and combat strength is unrivaled in the corrupt path, and even though she is somehow capable of controlling death energy, she has no backing. Even if she's more outstanding than Zi Luo, it's useless. Before this, she was able to run rampant without anyone touching her because Zi Wentian wanted to raise her as Zi Luo's Dao companion. However, Len Yuian actually went against his orders and attacked Zi Luo causing his entire plan to crumble. This time, she is going to be sacrificed to the corrupt god at the heavenly evil cave. Furthermore, her power might be stripped away and bestowed to Zi Luo. It's unknown if Len Yuian is simply one of Zi Wenchen's hidden pieces that he was grooming precisely for this moment, said Jung Wenlong. The leaders of the major powers on the continent were all wily. Sometimes, their moves couldn't be understood by others and that was what made them exceptionally frightening. They didn't just have immense martial power but also the intelligence to back it up. So even the name of the heavenly evil cave has been leaked? It should be intentional then, said Long Chen, his lips curling into a disdainful smile. Yes, this matter is no secret. Many people on the martial heaven continent know of it. If they could kill Len Yuian and bait you to go at the same time, it would be a spectacular victory for them. If you went, you would be falling for a trap, while if you didn't, you would be given an infamous name as someone who didn't go help a woman who only fell into her predicament because she saved your life. Considering Pill Valley's skills at creating rumors, you'll lose many supporters. So when these wily old foxes make a move, no matter what you do, they will end up winning. Despite knowing this is a trap, you will still go, right? Jung Wenlong looked at Long Chen. Long Chen bitterly smiled. If I didn't go, I wouldn't be Long Chen. That's why I really didn't know whether or not to tell you this news. Telling you might kill you, while not telling you would pain you for the rest of your life. Jung Wenlong had a complicated expression, not knowing if telling Long Chen had been the right choice. Telling me was the right thing to do. You understand me. If you didn't tell me, you would only be a businessman and not my brother. Long Chen patted Jung Wenlong's shoulder. If he wanted to get more profit, Jung Wenlong could act like he didn't know so that Long Chen would be safe. If Long Chen died, his businesses would tumble. However, Jung Wenlong had still told him, What do you plan to do? What else can I plan to do? Long Chen shrugged. 
My plans haven't changed. There's no way to go faster. And the other side isn't giving me any time. Len Yuian saved me twice. So I won't just watch as she dies. I'm definitely going to go to the heavenly evil cave. Then the chances of you surviving are essentially zero. You might never return. Then I'll never return. But your businesses will continue. If I die, the Dragonblood Legion will still exist. They are my brothers. And they'll avenge me. As long as the Dragonblood Legion is present, I can die without regrets. Long Chen smiled very calmly. Watching as he left, Zheng Wenlong didn't know what he was feeling. He wanted to help Long Chen, but he didn't know how to advise him. Useless. If he listened, then he wouldn't be Long Chen. He wouldn't be the powerful, domineering, and unrivaled hero that he was. He also wouldn't be the Dragonblood Legion's boss with so many hot-blooded brothers and sisters. Long Chen slowly walked out of the Huaian Pavilion, his mood heavy. He knew that his enemies weren't giving him any time to breathe. Their schemes came one after another. Most hateful of all, the Dragonblood Legion had not gained control of their world energy, and the majority of them did not have divine items. If a battle started, it would lead to too many casualties. Saving Len Yuian but sacrificing his brothers? Unacceptable. So Long Chen could only choose to go alone into the enemy territory with just his saber. Even if he didn't return. How brazen. Long Chen. You still dare to swagger around? Face your death. Long Chen had just walked out of the Huaian pavilion when a row rang out. A nether passage expert wearing robes of the ancient races blocked his path. More terrifying auras began to rise around him. These people had long since surrounded this area, just waiting for him to come out. In truth, they hadn't had much hope of capturing Long Chen here. The Huaian Pavilion had transportation formations inside it, and they had assumed that Long Chen would leave through there. But unexpectedly, he actually walked out just like that. Countless figures fled from the city, afraid of being caught in the battle. Only some confident experts chose to continue floating in the sky. Looking at that black-robed man that had shaken the continent, Long Chen really did come out. The strongest man of the Martial Heaven Continent's junior generation. How cool. Two women were floating in the sky, softly whispering to each other. Based on their powerful auras and robes, they were life star experts from some neutral faction. Powerful undercurrents were currently surging on the Martial Heaven Continent, so only the disciples from neutral camps dared to roam around. They could gain experience and also gather information. Even neutral factions needed to have information about the movements on the Martial Heaven continent. HMPH. Who said that? Who declared him the strongest man of the Martial Heaven continent's junior generation? What a shameless fool full of hot air. Just at this moment, a young man in the sky disdainfully opened his mouth. Chapter 1950. 1950 That young man spat at Long Chen. Startling quite a few people. It had to be known that Long Chen was one of the world's most ruthless people. From the eastern wasteland to the central plains, those heavenly geniuses that had become enemies with him had all died. Although this man was at the Life Star Realm and was also a powerful Empyrean, it seemed that someone on his level wasn't qualified to be arrogant in front of Long Chen. What an idiot. After advancing to Life Star, he actually thinks he's too big to be killed. He wants to insult Long Chen to raise his own prestige while there are nether passage experts around. An old man shook his head. Last time, rivers of blood flowed through the eastern Xuan city. No one was able to stop Long Chen from leaving. Does he really think such a person would allow such humiliation a life star expert side? He was already over a hundred years old and had no hope of further advancements. He would not be the main character of this era. However. Being witnesses to this era, these people had personally seen Long Chen's rise and seen him create miracle after miracle. Long Chen suddenly vanished from his original location. Space shook and he reappeared in front of the young man. He was like a phantom, coming and going without any warning. Although the man had been prepared, he had not expected Long Chen to be so quick. He reached out to unsheath his sword. At the next moment, Long Chen's hand grabbed the sword hilt while his other hand slapped this young man's face. Blood flew out of his mouth, and his teeth became free, flying through the air. As for his sword, it had come out of its sheath and was now pressed against his forehead. For a moment, 
Everyone was dumbfounded. Even the Nether Passage experts were stunned. Long Chen's speed was inconceivable. He was so fast that they couldn't even react. The Nether Passage experts exchanged a glance, acknowledging how serious this situation was now. Long Chen was actually able to move while completely disregarding their life and death domains. It had to be known that Long Chen was only at the peak of soul transformation. For him to be able to ignore their domains was against all common sense. Do I know you? Asked Long Chen, still pressing the sword at the young man's forehead. No, no. The man was now terrified, unable to speak properly. He only had one life, and now it was in Long Chen's hands. To express your disdain toward me, you came here, showing off your bravery? I actually look down on and hate people like you the most. Long Chen pressed forward with the sword. That person's body shook once before he fell from the sky. His Yuan spirit dead. In front of Long Chen, this confident life star Empyrean didn't even have the slightest ability to resist. His corpse landed on the ground, causing a burst of dust to fly into the air. Everyone's hearts shook. They looked at the gloomy Long Chen whose killing intent was steadily rising. Their hair stood on end. Long Chen put away the sword. Although it was just a quasi-divine item, it was still quite valuable. Without even glancing at the Nether Passage experts, he began walking out of the city. It was the same road, the same man walking alone. His enemies had grown even stronger, but his indomitable air was the same. There were over ten Nether Passage experts present. They exchanged a glance, their meaning to wait until Long Chen was out of the city to attack. If they fought within the city, they might not care about others, but they still had to worry about the Huaian sect. The Huaian sect might interfere under the excuse of stopping the disturbance in the city. Long Chen walked away slowly, under the gaze of countless experts. He walked out of the city with over ten Nether Passage experts following him. Attack. Once he was out of the city, one of the Nether Passage experts finally gave the order. Life and death energy erupted and a sword slashed toward Long Chen. He used his sharpest attack right from the start, clearly no longer viewing Long Chen as a soul transformation disciple, but a true threat. The battlefield hasn't changed at all. Good. I'll add some color this time. I think the blood of Nether Passage experts should be good. Long Chen's gaze was icy cold, and he was filled with fury. Since they had to force him until he had no other option, they couldn't blame him for being vicious. Long Chen's divine ring burst into existence behind him. He activated the five-star battle armor, and white scales also appeared all over his body. However, when those scales appeared, Long Chen's skin split open, and his blood poured out. As expected, this is too much. My current physical body is still unable to summon the complete Azure Dragon battle armor. However, this state should be enough. Long Chen glanced at the bloody scales on his body for an instant before slashing his saber at the attacking Nether Passage experts. Boom. Black and white light intertwined, devouring the sky. That berserk energy caused the world to shake. What all the experts watching let out startled cries. They saw a Nether Passage expert actually be sent flying. He wasn't able to receive even a single blow. Novaloon.com How is that possible? Just what kind of power is that? Is this some kind of self-destructive secret art? Is he exchanging his life for power? Wild speculation erupted. This saber slash had surpassed the limits of their imagination. Just how was it possible for a soul transformation disciple to ignore two major realms and force back a nether passage expert? The other nether passage experts attacked as well after they recovered from their shock. Rumbling rang out as Long Chen's saber danced. Scram. Long Chen suddenly let out an angry roar, like thunder shaking the land. A chi wave containing dragon might spread, and those nether passage experts tumbled back. All that remained was Long Chen standing in the sky. Evil Moon's runes had lit up, and a dragon cry could be heard echoing through the air, resonating with heaven and earth. A group of early nether passage brats think they can block me, sneered Long Chen. He pointed Evil Moon toward the sky, split the heavens seven. Evil Moon rumbled as a giant saber image tore through the clouds. The void was torn in two, and then a black river of stars crashed down. The current Long Chen was finally able to cooperate with Evil Moon's power. When the two of them worked together, they could unleash the full potential of the seventh form of Split the Heavens. 
the Nether Passage experts' expressions changed. They had never imagined that a soul transformation disciple would be capable of unleashing such a terrifying attack. They actually felt a sensation of death from this attack as they were completely locked down. Trying to run would only send them to their deaths. Boom. Over ten divine items lit up, unleashing their divine power. The black saber image collided with the light of those divine items. The world almost crumbled from their power. As a result, a burst of astral winds blew back the nether passage experts, and they were wildly coughing up blood. What? He actually wasn't defeated. Startled cries rang out. They couldn't understand how these nether passage experts had been blown back despite joining forces. Just as they were filled with disbelief, a black saber slashed down mercilessly at one of the ancient race nether passage experts. He was blown to bits. His Yuan spirit annihilated. He vanished from this world. Long Chen had a pair of lightning wings on his back, but he was covered in blood. His Azure Dragon battle armor was incomplete, and ignoring the fact that it limited his power, his body couldn't even endure it. The backlash just now had heavily injured him. However, this time, he was smarter. He didn't try to heal with the primal chaos space while he had the Azure Dragon battle armor on. First of all, there would only be a little effect, and he would also waste a huge amount of life energy. His whole body was racked with pain, but he still clenched his teeth and pressed on. His lightning wings flapped, and he shot after the fleeing nether passage experts. The next nether passage expert hastily raised his weapon upon seeing Long Chen turn to him, and as a result, his weapon was shattered along with his body. His Yuan spirit had just come out when one of Long Chen's lightning wings smashed it blowing it apart. Long Chen had killed two nether passage experts in a row. However, his killing intent was still soaring, and it was as if he had forgotten his own injuries and pain. He shot after the third nether passage expert. This expert was from the Xuan beasts. He was a giant, and his movements were not nimble. Hence, he was instantly caught up to, and seeing Long Chen's saber falling toward him, he roared, his battle axe lighting up. Boom. Evil Moon created a giant nick in the axe. At this moment, the nether passage expert thought that he had escaped a calamity, and he suddenly sent a kick at Long Chen. However, he had just moved when Long Chen's left hand thrust forward, a lightning spear in his hand. Die. Thunder rumbled and lightning flashed. That Xuan beast nether passage expert exploded into a rain of blood. Chapter 1951. 1951 three were killed in one blow each. The third nether passage expert had clearly blocked Long Chen's saber but had been unable to stop his lightning spear. That's clearly a powerful paragon art. How can he use it so quickly? Everyone was stunned. The intense fluctuations of that spear meant that it was a paragon art. And they were correct. It was the lightning paragon art. The wild lightning soul battle spear. What they didn't know was that Long Chen's paragon arts had two states. One was powered with Li Long's energy while the other was with the lightning field's energy. Only when he was connected to the lightning field would his paragon arts be at full power. However, he was still capable of using it with just Lai Long's power. If it was before, Lai Long's power wouldn't be enough to heavily injure nether passage experts. But Lai Long had devoured a great deal of divine lightning during the Dragonblood Legion's tribulation, resulting in it once more advancing. Its divine energy was more concentrated and it easily pierced through that nether passage expert's defensive divine light. With Evil Moon in his right hand and the wild lightning soul battle spear in his left hand, Long Chen was like a devil god, mercilessly reaping the lives of nether passage experts. Perhaps it could be said that the first two to be killed were still affected by the seventh form of split the heavens, so Long Chen had relied on some technique. However, the third nether passage expert had been slain with pure power. In just the blink of an eye, Long Chen had killed three nether passage experts, using his power to take the dominating role on the battlefield. Heaven-defying, absolutely heaven-defying. He's worthy of being called the strongest expert of the Martial Heaven Continent's junior generation. This is a real man. Those two women from neutral factions looked at him with worshipful expressions. They were of the same age, but in their lifetimes. They wouldn't even dream of doing what Long Chen had done. Long Chen's lightning spear vanished, and he shot after the closest panicking nether passage expert. 
that expert's expression changed, and he chose to do something no one had previously imagined. He decided to turn and flee. Long Chen snorted and lightning flashed around him. He caught up in just a second, slashing his saber down with both hands. Bastard. I'll go all out. That nether passage expert felt despair as he was too unlucky to actually be targeted by Long Chen. He spat a mouthful of blood onto his sword, and divine power roared. What are you going to use to go all out? The seventh form of split the heavens. Long Chen sneered and his saber fell. In front of the seventh form of split the heavens, that nether passage expert's attack appeared weak and insignificant. It didn't even cause a ripple. He was instantly torn through. Fucking satisfying. Evil Moon was shouting with delight. The blood of these nether passage experts excited it, and it felt refreshed to be able to unleash its power. Another nether passage expert was slain once again with absolute power. This scene was even more shocking. Hence, the remaining nether passage experts fled and vanished from sight. Fine. You should stop too. Your physical body has reached its limit. Without advancing to nether passage, you probably won't be able to control the full power of the Azure Dragon, said Evil Moon. It found that cracks had appeared in Long Chen's bones. He was so powerful that his own body couldn't handle it. Although Long Chen's physical body had been reforged by the Azure Dragon Essence blood, he still couldn't use its full power. He would need to get stronger first. As a member of the Dragon Race, Evil Moon was very sure about this. Putting away Evil Moon, Long Chen didn't show any happiness or sorrow. In front of everyone's dumbfounded gazes, he slowly walked away. Over ten Nether Passage experts had tried to stop him. As a result, four of them died while the others fled miserably. Everyone suddenly thought of Long Chen's previous words about adding some color to this battlefield with the blood of Nether Passage experts. He had really done it. The stories say that Long Chen never says any empty words. I believe it now, sighed someone. I don't understand how a hero of our righteous path has ended up isolated and surrounded by enemies. Why would the Alliance head expel senior apprentice brother Long Chen? It's completely unjust, said one young disciple angrily. As soon as he said this, quite a few expressions changed. Long Chen's expulsion had caused huge waves, and countless young disciples were filled with indignation for him, wanting Ku Jin Ying to repeal this. Even the seniors and masters of the various sects were unable to suppress their momentum. Long Chen's prestige amongst the junior generation was just too great. Things had only just calmed down when this disciple brought it up again. It was like splashing oil on a fire. The Alliance head naturally has her own plans. What could a child like you understand? Don't you see that Long Chen didn't say anything at all about that? Get back, or I'll have to imprison you, shouted an elder. That disciple clearly belonged to him. HMPH. How am I child? I'm seven years older than senior apprentice brother Long Chen. When he was my age, he was already thrown into the bloody world, while I had to be beaten and scolded all the time. I wanted to go out into the world, but you didn't let me. Saying it was dangerous and raising me wasn't easy. If I did dodge any danger though, you would scold me for being a coward and not being a man. No matter what I do, I'm wrong. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen didn't have anyone telling him what to do, but he knew what he needed to do. While we don't get to do what we feel like we need, if you old fellows were always right, you would have long since reached the peak of this world instead of being cowards who don't dare to say anything to enemies that come knocking at your door, shouted the young disciple. All his accumulated resentment and anger erupted at once. His words formed a resonance amongst the junior generation present. They were the geniuses of their various factions, and they all had the same pain. They might not need to worry about being clothed or hungry, which was a life countless people longed for, but they knew that they weren't free. Their seniors always looked after everything that they did. They had to act according to their standards, and if they didn't, they would be wrong. That made them feel lost in life, and more and more rebellious. The reason Long Chen had become an idol of countless experts was because he hadn't relied on anyone to reach his current height. They were filled with reverence, as well as envy for his freedom. He was a wild horse, while they were caged birds that weren't allowed to fly as they wanted to. Instead, they were kept in a cage, and when they were allowed to fly, 
they had a string tied to their legs that was holding them back. Little brat, who do you think you're talking to? I'm your father, raged the elder. Can a father be this unreasonable? If your father was unreasonable with you, did you have to be unreasonable with me? You didn't have the power to go against your father. You're a coward, but I won't be like that. What qualifications do you have to scold me? The young man refused to submit. Only then did everyone hear that they were a pair of father and son. However, that son's words were clearly unfilial. He actually called his father a coward. You, you fucking. The father was enraged but didn't know what to say. He grabbed his son and beat him. Hey, you old man. What did your son do? Did he say anything wrong? Just because you couldn't out-talk him, you beat him? Useless seniors like you restrict our growth. Or perhaps each one of us could be on the same level as senior apprentice brother Long Chen. His actions immediately incurred public wrath. Exactly. You throttled our Dao hearts. Even geniuses would be raised into idiots by you. If it weren't for your foolishness, even if we weren't like Long Chen, we would still be real men like the Dragonblood Warriors fuck. You're not releasing him? Brothers, beat this old man. Just how much are we supposed to take without fighting back? Dozens of young men charged forward at the same time at the father. Bastards. You. Bang. The old man roared. Just how had looking after his own child ended up incurring so many people's wrath? Just as he was going to frighten them away, a fist struck him in the eye, making him see stars. There were too many people for him to know who had done that. In his anger, he sent a punch at those men. Brother, don't be afraid. We'll save you. Youngsters like us should be united against oppression. Good brother. We'll rebel together. We'll all be unrivaled heroes like senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Just as they started a chaotic brawl with some others coming to try to intervene and calm things down, rumbling rang out. Before anyone could say anything, a war chariot appeared in the sky. Where is Long Chen? A thunderous row rang out. It stabbed people's eardrums, and weaker people even began to bleed from their ears. They stared in shock up at the sky. Chapter 1952. 1952 The ancient war carriage was pulled by a ferocious magical beast. It was a nine-colored flying horse a mid-twelfth rank magical beast. The nether passage experts' expressions changed. This nine-colored celestial horse was comparable to nether passage experts of the second step. It might even possess the power to one-shot early nether passage experts, but such a terrifying magical beast was actually pulling a carriage for someone. Divine runes flowed on top of the carriage, causing space to twist. It was clearly a powerful divine item in its own right. A giant man walked off from the carriage. He held a blood-colored halberd. Wasn't the kill in battle halberd damaged in the yin-yang world? Whispers rang out as people recognized this person to be the Xuan Beast's genius. True immortal Jiaoki. What they didn't know was that the Killin Battle Halberd was a special weapon of the Killin Drake race. There were actually nine of them, eight held by the elders with the greatest authority in the race, while one was bestowed to the genius with the greatest potential. True immortal Jiaoki had been bestowed that Killin Battle Halberd, but it had been broken by Len Yuian's bone sword. Now he held one that only elders were qualified to use, and it was even stronger. True immortal Jiaoki had advanced to the second heaven stage of life star. Not only had he been given the most powerful halberd, but he also had the Killin War Chariot. Those two divine items were the strongest weapons possessed by the Killin Drake race. He still refused to accept his defeat from last time. If he had possessed such powerful weapons at that time, he might not have lost to Len Yuian. With them, he had come to take his revenge against Long Chen and Len Yuian. However, Len Yuian was already set to be executed, so he had no chance to get his revenge from her. That was why he was searching all over for Long Chen. When he heard that he was in the eastern Xuan city, he immediately rushed over here. The nine colored horse was as quick as lightning, second only to the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow in terms of speed. However, he was still one step too slow because Long Chen had already left. Not seeing Long Chen, he saw the brawl down below and he shouted, Tell me, where did Long Chen go? Why would I have to tell you? The one who true immortal Jiaoki had picked out was actually the man that had just rebelled against his father. He was still rebellious. Inferior human race. Die. 
True immortal Jayaoki suddenly pointed a single finger. A burst of wind shot over. Within that burst of wind could be heard the faint cry of Achillan and Drake. The young man suddenly found that he was unable to move. The heavenly Tao energy that he relied on had been stripped away from him. Watch out. It was his father who shot into motion, appearing in front of him and raising a divine item. Bang. That quasi-divine item exploded, and true immortal Jayaoki's attack struck the father in the shoulder, turning it into a mass of blood and flesh. Dad. The young man shouted, his eyes red. He wanted to charge out and attack, but he was too weak to even move under true immortal Jayaoki's pressure. Just half-step nether passage. I'll send you two on your way. True immortal Jayaoki instantly saw through the father's cultivation base. If it weren't for that divine item, the two of them would have already died. He unleashed an identical attack with his finger, but this time it was even more powerful. Dad. True immortal Jayaoki. Just what do you think you're doing? Furious roars rang out amongst the crowd, but true immortal Jayaoki ignored them. A cruel smile on his face. As for the father, there was some kind of powerful energy on his mangled shoulder that was trying to wreck the rest of his body. He didn't have the power to resist. He was very unwilling. He wanted to save his son at the very least, but he was powerless. In front of absolute power, everything was useless. Bang. Just as the father and son were about to be killed, a palm blocked the attack in front of them. What everyone was startled. True immortal Jayaoki had already advanced to the life star realm and controlled world energy. Just who was capable of so easily brushing aside his attack? They hastily focused. Seeing a young man standing there, behind him was a giant die slowly spinning. It's Hu Fang. The heir of the gambling heavenly Tao that die was a sign of who he was and the special divine item that only the gambling heavenly Tao possessed. Hu Fang, what are you doing here? Does the gambling heavenly Tao want to stand by Long Chen and become enemies with the rest of the world? Demanded true immortal Jayaoki. There were many legends of the gambling heavenly Tao. However, in actual history, there were only a few records of any fights against them. True immortal Jayaoki's battle intent began to rise. Hu Feng shook his head. What am I doing here? Why act stupid? Do you really think others don't know how many despicable acts your side has done in the name of hunting Long Chen? The gambling heavenly Tao might not interfere with the rest of the world, but I really can't bear to just keep watching. Is bullying the weak really so satisfying? Oh, also. Don't get so arrogant as to think that your so-called alliance can represent the entire world. The ancient races, the corrupt path, the Xuan beasts, all the groups that were no longer harmonious with the righteous path claimed to be hunting down Long Chen. But behind that mask, just how many other experts had they killed because they were suspected of harboring Long Chen? The entire continent was covered in a storm with many talented disciples no longer even daring to leave their sects. They didn't know when they might disappear for no reason. Most of the factions on the continent had seen it happen, but the majority did not dare to get angry or say anything. They chose to endure to protect themselves. Now that true immortal Jayaoki had appeared, their suppressed anger flared. They knew that the Xuan beasts and the others were doing this deliberately. What a joke. Anything that happens is all due to Long Chen. If he wasn't hiding and dared to take responsibility for his own actions, how could so many people have been implicated by him? Sneered true immortal Jayaoki. Hu Feng smiled faintly. I'm not here to talk reason with you. If talking reason actually worked, there wouldn't be war, and there wouldn't be cultivation. Long Chen is already gone. You're too late. Even with this nine-colored horse, you can't catch up. So you should leave. The gambling heavenly Deo's disciples don't like to meddle with other people's business. But if you go too far, I'll have to stop you. Stop me? Good. Then let me see whether or not you have that ability. I've heard that the gambling heavenly Tao is miraculous. Hopefully, you won't disappoint me. True immortal Jayaoki pointed his kill in battle halberd at Hu Fang. Killing intent appearing in his eyes. He had clearly been waiting for these words. Why bother? Aren't you being so oppressive because you hope someone will counterattack and you will have an excuse to start a fight? Last time, Alliance head Kujianying didn't let you have this excuse. So you've resorted to this. You really leave us with no leeway. Even neutral factions have become your chess pieces. 
It seems you wish to disturb the deep waters of the Martial Heaven continent. I really can't understand what your goal is. Hu Feng shook his head. After hearing this, a few disciples' hearts hook. Only now did they learn that Ku Jianying had expelled Long Chen to avoid a war throughout the entire continent. Their sect masters had never mentioned this to them. That's enough nonsense. Come out and fight. True immortal Jiaoki flew out of the city, while his horse also flew away with him. They were so fast that others couldn't track them. True immortal Jiaoki was a giant whose arm was thicker than Hu Feng's whole body. On the other hand, Hu Feng was slender and looked like he might be blown away if true immortal Jiaoki blew on him. If it weren't for the giant die behind him, others wouldn't even think he was a cultivator. Die. Once Hu Feng walked over, true immortal Jiaoki immediately attacked and shot through the air. The point of his finger had shocked people with their power, and now that he was using his halberd, the heavenly deos rumbled. Life star Empyreans are capable of using world energy, while Xuan beasts can combine the power of their bloodline with their world energy, giving them even greater power, said an ether passage expert of the righteous path. That's right, in the life star realm. The Xuan beasts and ancient races have a natural advantage. The human race only takes back the advantage in the nether passage realm involving comprehension. I wonder whether this heir of the gambling heavenly Tao is as amazing as the legends say. If not, he really might die, said another elder. Boom. True immortal Jiaoki's halberd finally struck, but it stopped right in front of Hu Feng who still had his hands clasped behind him. In front of him was a giant domino that was blocking the halberd. What is that? Chapter 1953. 1953 It's the gambling heavenly deos nine heavenly tiles, said one elder. This elder had a faint fiery light in his eyes, and he was an extremely powerful nether passage expert. He had most likely already reached the third step of nether passage. However, his robes made people's hearts shake. He was actually from the blood kill hall. Only now did people realize that at some point, dozens of nether passage experts had gathered here. These experts belonged from various factions, including the ancient races, the corrupt path, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, and Pill Valley. Obviously, they had received news that Long Chen was here. However, they had arrived too late. Actually, the news that Long Chen had come to the eastern Xuan city had spread early enough for them to have rushed here in time. However, they hadn't come at that time because they had expected him to simply go through the Huaian Pavilion's transportation formations. No one dared to go completely hostile with the Huaian sect. The Huaian sect said that they were businessmen and they did business with anyone. Hence, no one dared to go to the Huaian sect to force them to hand over Long Chen. The only one capable of competing with the Huaian sect was Pill Valley. But Pill Valley assumed that Long Chen was drawing their attention here on purpose to affect their overall plans. In fact, they even suspected that this was one of Hua Mingxiang's schemes to slow down their plans. So they hadn't cared too much that Long Chen had come here. As long as Long Chen was alive, they would have an excuse to pressure others. That wasn't a bad thing either. So the experts that had been sent here were just some early stage nether passage experts, and even they hadn't expected Long Chen to just walk out directly. By the time they heard that Long Chen had slain some nether passage experts and rushed over, it was already too late. However, they managed to catch true immortal Jiaoki's fight with the heir of the gambling heavenly Dao. The world rumbled as true immortal Jiaoki's power soared. However, the shocking thing was that even as his energy soared to the point of causing every expert to feel like he was strong enough to destroy the world, that simple three-meter domino of Hu Feng's didn't budge. There were seven divine runes flowing within it. The heavenly nine tiles is the gambling heavenly deo's inherited divine item. Successive generations of heirs had bestowed their life energy into the tiles either before ascending or before dying. Legend has it that they have nine points representing nine different strength levels, starting with one and progressing to nine at the peak. There are now seven runes on that bone tile, representing the seventh level of strength, said an expert of the righteous path. He was so ancient that he looked doddering, and he leaned on a walking stick. However, his gaze was still sharp. The experts from the other factions stared in shock at that elder as they recognized his status. Senior, 
Wouldn't that mean that the eight rune and nine rune tiles would be even more terrifying? Asked one disciple respectfully. In theory, yes, said the elder without any airs. That elder's response elicited cold gasps. Just how powerful was this Hu Fang? Killin' Drake energy, split heaven and earth. True immortal Jayaoki suddenly let out a roar, and a giant beast appeared in his manifestation. It had the body of a Killin' but the tail of a Drake. His halberd blazed with divine light when that beast appeared, and he stabbed it forward. Break. Finally, there was a reaction from Hu Feng's tile. It began to shudder intensely, showing signs that it wouldn't be able to hold on. However, Hu Feng's expression was still calm. He slowly formed hand seals. Suddenly, six dominoes appeared in the air, and they layered themselves behind the current domino. These dominoes had one, two, three, four, five, and six runes respectively. The seven dominoes lit up at the same time, and the world suddenly dimmed. A gambling heavenly art capable of wrestling away the very energy of heaven and earth. Someone let out a startled cry. There were many legends of the gambling heavenly Tao. But now they were witnessing that legend in person. Heaven and earth rumbled as the energy of the heavenly Dao surged toward the seven dominoes. Ripples of divine light spread along the dominoes, actually blocking true immortal Jayaoki's power. Heavens, even without using any of his own energy, he can rely just on stealing the energy of the heavenly Dao's to fight his enemies. That's basically cheating. Could it be that all the heirs of the gambling heavenly Dao's are legendary heaven snatchers? No, heaven snatchers steal the power of the heavens that has already been fixed somewhere else. They have to kill people to take their heavenly Tao energy and give it to themselves. As for the heirs of the gambling heavenly Tao, they take the power of the heavens, but that is something they won through gambling against the heavens. When their battle or gamble is over, the energy of the heavens will return. If they want more energy, they'll need a new gamble, and I heard that they don't always win. If they lose, Instead of taking any energy, they'll receive a backlash. It's an extremely inconceivable inheritance, explained someone. The gambling heavenly Deo's inheritance stretched back so many years that no one knew when it had even started. It was thought that their inheritance had been severed several times in the past, but they had always reappeared. The most curious thing was that they would only have one heir at a time. No one knew how they managed to continue existing. True immortal Jayaoki suddenly retreated from the dominoes. He no longer looked down on them and decided to attack Hu Feng's true body. Avoiding the dominoes, he attacked from the side, forcing Hu Feng to actually fight himself. The dominoes were too bizarre, capable of taking the energy of the very heavens to use in battle. Fighting against something that was practically cheating wasn't going to benefit him. Hence, true immortal Jiaqi had made the right choice. However, he had just moved when Hu Feng's dominoes actually split apart, attacking him like blades. They split into four groups. The one and six dominoes were together, along with the two and five dominoes and the three and four dominoes. The final seventh domino attacked on its own. What both shocked and enraged true immortal Jayaoki was that these dominoes were incredibly fast, and they began to unleash a barrage of attacks against him, forcing him to retreat over and over again. He had no idea what material they were made of, but each time he clashed against them, he didn't even leave a scar on them. What strange attacks. Each attack is evenly powered. Did you notice? Each of those four groups of dominoes has seven runes in total, but they can't attack at the same time. Their power flows between the four groups seamlessly. Through that person's reminder, people noticed that each time the dominoes attacked, they would dim a bit after their attack was over while another group of dominoes would then light up ever so slightly and attack. They had never seen such an attack style. Hu Feng was attacking without using up any of his own energy. Couldn't he simply exhaust his enemy to death like this? Boom. Suddenly, Hu Feng's seven dominoes slammed together, and he had a fierce head-on clash against true immortal Jayaoki. True immortal Jayaoki was forced back seven steps before stabilizing. I, Hu Feng have no intention of being enemies with anyone, but people should have a yardstick for their actions. I know you haven't used many trump cards, but I'm the same. This battle has no winner or loser, so let's let things end here. Hu Feng waved his hand, summoning back the dominoes. 
looking at the furious true immortal Jayaoki indifferently. His voice was not deferential or afraid. Despite facing true immortal Jayaoki as well as the surrounding Nether Passage experts, he was still calm. His meaning was clear. The reason he had interfered was because true immortal Jayaoki had gone too far. He kept referring to the human race as inferior. Hu Feng might be a neutral expert, but he was a human. They had already tested each other's basics. If the battle continued, they would be forced to take out their real trump cards. Having their trump cards exposed in front of so many people wasn't good for either of them. Do you think things will end just because you say so? As I see it, you're one of Long Chen's friends, and you're trying to draw attention from him, roared true immortal Jayaoki. Hu Feng smiled, but it was a disdainful smile. This should be your habit of slandering others. As long as you don't like someone, you give them a bad name and then attack them with a grand excuse. Who would have thought that the domineering and direct Xuan beast race had also become so shameless? I only said what I said because it's not my business to interfere with you. But if you think that it's because I'm afraid of you, you're very mistaken. If you want to fight, I'll accompany you. Long Chen could make your blood flow like a river. And I, Hu Feng, can pile your corpses into mountains. Killing intent finally appeared from Hu Feng. Boom. Suddenly, the die behind Hu Feng stopped spinning. The world suddenly became still, and an ancient slumbering aura filled the sky. Are we fighting or not? You can decide with just a word. Hu Feng's cold voice resounded through the air. The air of the gambling heavenly Dao was enraged. Chapter 1954 1954 Hu Feng was enraged. The heirs of the gambling heavenly Dao were never existences to be provoked. It seemed that he was bringing shame to his sect by being treated like this. He had long since found the Xuan beasts to be irritating. They always called the human race inferior and vile, not fit to live in this world. He had endured that, but he was no longer enduring. If he kept enduring, he would embarrass the name of the heir of the gambling heavenly Dao. Originally. Hu Feng had just wanted to give a warning to the Xuan beasts not to have such dirty mouths. He had already gotten the advantage in the fight just now, but he had pulled back just to give true immortal Jayaoki a chance to back out without losing face. As a result, that shameless fellow actually pushed for more, infuriating Hu Feng. Hu Feng was angry, but so was true immortal Jayaoki. In the Yun Yang world, he had joined hands with Huo Liyan and Zi Luo, but even together, they hadn't managed to kill Long Chen. That was equivalent to a defeat. Now that he had advanced to Life Star, he had gained control of world energy and even merged more deeply with his Killendrake energy, with even his manifestation getting closer to awakening. He also had the nine colored celestial horses a steed and two powerful divine items. With these, he had wanted to sweep away his previous disgrace, killing Long Chen in front of everyone. However, he had ended up encountering Hu Feng who was extremely bizarre and difficult to deal with. If he didn't defeat Hu Feng, he wouldn't be able to settle his rage, nor would he be able to face his own pride. Geniuses all had their own pride and confidence. No one was willing to be labeled as the defeated, and that was especially true of a genius on true immortal Jayaoki's level. They needed a flawless Dao heart. He had to personally defeat Long Chen. That was true of true immortal Jayaoki as well as Pill Valley's Huo Liyan and the corrupt Paths Ziluo. The three of them were all looking for a chance to kill Long Chen. Then let's fight. What's so special about the gambling heavenly Dao? I'll still kill you. True immortal Jayaoki's aura suddenly changed. His manifestation began to rumble. Wait a moment. Just as true immortal Jayaoki was about to attack, a figure appeared in front of him, stopping him. Valley Master. True immortal Jayaoki was startled to see that Yu Ziaoyan had personally come here, but he quickly realized it was just a clone. Having stopped true immortal Jayaoki, Yu Ziaoyan turned to Hu Fang. The gambling heavenly Dao has already been gone from the continent for thousands of years. Now that someone has appeared carrying on its legacy, it seems that marvelous geniuses are rising on the continent. I wouldn't dare to accept your praise, said Hu Fang calmly. Yu Ziaoyan smiled. Young people need vitality and motivation. That's the only way to bring growth to the martial heaven continent. However, the current continent is filled with chaos due to Long Chen. 
Everyone is worried about what he will plot next to overthrow the martial heaven continent. That's why all brave warriors are answering the call in this desperate crisis. Fighting to slay the devil to restore order to the continent. As the heir of the gambling heavenly Tao, you are also an important member of the martial heaven continent. Even not viewing things from the viewpoint of the continent, I feel like when it comes to the competition between heavenly geniuses, Long Chen should be your enemy instead of a stranger you don't care about. Was he really trying to pull Hu Feng into targeting Long Chen? Everyone heard the double meanings in Yu Ziyuan's words. The current continent was in chaos, with Pill Valley pushing the waves. However, they pushed the responsibility onto Long Chen. As a result, countless fools who weren't aware of the truth really believed Long Chen to be a fiend and that whoever killed Long Chen would be the savior of the continent. Sometimes, the power of the ignorant could be extremely terrifying. Like an infection, their stupidity would run rampant throughout the world. Other than some smarter people or people with more information who were able to retain cool heads, many people had been affected by this public opinion. Pill Valley was currently boosting their support. They pushed Long Chen into the position of the villain, making all cultivators view him as an enemy. This truth was already almost set in stone. The stories of Long Chen's evil deeds were rapidly spreading, and it was difficult to tell the truth from falsehood. Valley Master's praises too much. The gambling heavenly Tao does not interfere with the rest of the world. We gamble against the heavens, not fight people. If it weren't for this person's words being too difficult to bear, I wouldn't have interfered. I am not friends with Long Chen, nor am I enemies with him. I have nothing to do with his matters. The gambling heavenly Dao's disciples prefer to be free and unrestrained. Valley Master, this little one still has things to do, so I'll take my leave first. Hu Feng tactfully declined Yu Ziyuan's suggestion, or perhaps it should be said he had bluntly refused his invitation. Clearly, Yu Ziyuan had been trying to pull him into their camp. Yu Ziyuan seemed to have expected this refusal, and he indifferently smiled. People have their own wills. Things can't be forced. But I trust that when the calamity descends and all lives are in trouble, you won't stand by the side. Hu Feng replied with a smile that said nothing. Cupping his fists, he said, goodbye. Hu Feng walked away. The die behind him once more began to slowly spin, and he vanished from sight. Valley Master, why didn't you let me kill him? Demanded true immortal Jayaoki. The gambling heavenly Deo's disciples aren't so easy to kill. Trust me, his power is definitely not weaker than Long Chan's. It might even be greater. The name of the 50-50 win isn't for nothing, let alone you. Even if my true body came, I might not be able to hold him against his will. That's the power of the gambling heavenly Tao, said Yu Ziyuan. I you don't believe it? Then let me put it this way. You might be able to defeat him, but you have no chance of killing him. He would get away, and then you would have pushed him to Long Chen's side. It's not worth it to provoke such a terrifying enemy with limitless potential. Then what are we supposed to do? Just let Long Chen keep getting away. Be patient. Time will let you slowly obtain many things. You're only a bit off from fully awakening your manifestation. That's the more pressing thing. As for Long Chen, don't worry. He and his dragon blood legion will become your stepping stones in the end, said Yu Ziyuan, before vanishing. Although he was very unwilling, true immortal Jayaoki didn't dare to talk back. He endured his fury. Shouting an order at the nine-colored celestial horse, he flew away in the Killin battle carriage, vanishing from sight. Even once he was gone, the world continued to rumble for a long time. The news of this battle quickly spread throughout the world. The heir of the gambling heavenly Tao had finally fought in public, and his fighting style was shocking. He had actually managed to suppress true immortal Jayaoki. However, they had both just been probing each other and the decisive fight had been interrupted by Yu Ziyuan. No one could really say which of the two was stronger. People finally had some understanding of the heir of the gambling heavenly Tao. He was another peak expert who was definitely on the same level as Long Chen, Mo Nian, Di Fang, Zi Luo, and true immortal Jayaoki. As for Huo Liyan, many people had already kicked him from those rankings because he had been defeated by Long Chen in the Life Star Realm and his physical body had been destroyed. 
Everyone knew that he would no longer be able to exist in the world of heavenly geniuses. This battle had ended with no victor, but Hu Feng's name gradually grew even more resounding on the martial heaven continent. Long Chen didn't know that true immortal Jiaoki had appeared right after he had left, nor did he know about his fight with Hu Feng. He was currently sitting on top of a cliff, with Evil Moon stabbed into the stone beside him. He was calmly looking at the surging river down below. It was unknown what he was thinking. If you want to say something, then say it. You've been sitting here for six hours. Finally, Evil Moon broke the silence. Long Chen's killing intent had vanished after leaving the eastern Xuan city. He had gone silent, not saying a single thing the whole time. Evil Moon, tell me the truth. Am I very strange? Evil Moon was silent for a moment before saying, I felt like you were very strange at first, but I got used to it. Or maybe I also turned strange. Long Chen shook his head. Actually, I feel like I'm really two people. You. How did you know? Because there is another set of memories deep within my soul, constantly influencing me. Long Chen looked into the distance, not noticing Evil Moon's tone. Actually, I was just some rundown noble son, not much different from a commoner on the streets. I never thought to be a hero or some savior of the world. I just wanted to live a peaceful life, carefree and without worries, growing old in the wilderness. I'm actually very lazy and evil. I like to con people. I like to scheme. But I also have another set of thoughts deep within my soul influencing me. It's forcing me to face my difficulties like an idiot, making me jump into fire and blades. I can no longer tell if it's that other will influencing me or if I was always like this before. Perhaps you have a split personality. Many life forms have that, especially your human race. It's not so strange. So tell me, if you clearly know that you're going to die by going, will you still go? Asked Evil Moon. I'm going. If I didn't go, I wouldn't be Long Chen. Long Chen looked down at the surging river. His voice said, Chapter 1955. 1955 But if you go, what will you do? That's deep in enemy territory, and they're ready for you. You're going to send yourself to your death just to accompany that girl? You'll die, and she'll still die. What about your brothers? Asked Evil Moon. That's why I'm conflicted. My life isn't just mine. It belongs to everyone who loves me. But for the people I love, I have no choice but to risk my life. Don't you feel like that's the world's greatest contradiction? The great conundrum, said Long Chen helplessly. HMPH. I can't understand the feelings of humans. The dark evil dragon race has no such thing as love. We only have a kind of instinct to kill if we want to live. We have to constantly devour others so that we can get stronger, or we'll get devoured by others. If I weren't trying to dodge my enemy, I wouldn't have ended up charging into such a backwater place to see if I could devour other experts. Then I wouldn't have ended up running into Yun Shang. Ugh, I'm not talking about that. It was so unlucky. If I had gone all out against that enemy back then, I would have at least had a 30% chance of winning, said Evil Moon hatefully. Evil Moon, you've already recovered a bit of your energy, and you've managed to loosen the seal yourself. As long as you have enough time, I feel like you'll be able to undo the Sovereign Seal. What are you saying? Evil Moon's guard raised. I'm saying that there's a high chance I won't be returning this time to fulfill our agreement. You can leave on your own now. Novaloon.com having been with Evil Moon for so long, he didn't want to implicate it. If Evil Moon fell into Yu Ziaoyan's hands, considering that it was still sealed, its ending would be very miserable. Who do you think I am? Do you think the dark evil dragon race would break their promises? We have an agreement. You help me break the seal, and I'll fight alongside you. Do you think I'm a coward? Raged Evil Moon. Unexpectedly. Even the dark evil dragon race had such a side, that greatly moved Long Chen. In truth, based on the information Long Chen had gotten, the dark evil dragon race was avaricious and sinister, committing non-stop cold-blooded slaughters. They didn't actually have such a thing like caring about their promises. For Evil Moon to say this was entirely boasting, but by saying this, Long Chen viewed it as a life and death companion. Thank you. Where did such words come from? Furthermore, even if there's almost no chance for us to get out alive, there's still a chance. I'm quite a fool. 
I should have sneaked away with the Huaiyan Pavilion's transportation formation, which would make them think I was afraid. Their guards wouldn't be raised. But now, they know that I'm not afraid of anything as I killed four Nether Passage experts. In other words, I'm out for revenge, and they naturally know that I will go stop Len Yuian's execution. They'll arrange for even more experts to gather there and have even more tricks for me. Tell me, don't you think I'm an idiot? Long Chen bitterly smiled. If you clearly knew all that and still did it, then it really was foolish. Evil Moon agreed with Long Chen. No way around it. I'm just one giant contradiction. My killing intent at that time was too strong, and suppressing it any further would affect my Dao heart. It's an irritating thing, but if I didn't unleash it, it felt like my body would explode. Many people were able to see others clearly but unable to see themselves. However, Long Chen could see himself clearly, including his weaknesses, but he was unable to do anything about them. The execution date is set for tomorrow afternoon. Since you've decided to go, just stop thinking about it and enter your peak condition. It's too bad you still haven't advanced to the Life Star Realm, or you would have much higher odds of getting away alive, said Evil Moon. This was the best decision of Yu Ziaoyan and the unfettered Alseer, to not give Long Chen any time to get stronger or gather more trump cards. I haven't even had a chance to breathe, and they already did this to me. That unfettered Alseer is quite a distasteful fellow. He must have worked quite hard to make an unending storm of schemes, said Long Chen hatefully. His hatred for Heavenly Fate Island had reached a peak. Long Chen, don't you think that Len Yuian's execution is strange, said Evil Moon suddenly. What are you talking about? Long Chen was startled. That Len Yuian's origins are extremely strange. She's actually able to control the death energy of the Yun Yang world, and her bone sword is an extremely terrifying existence. Why would she return to the corrupt path after what she had done? To be described as extremely terrifying by Evil Moon, that bone sword had to be truly terrifying. Based on Zheng Wenlong's information, she was heavily injured during her tribulation when advancing to Life Star, resulting in her being captured. She wasn't actually at the corrupt path, but the corrupt path leaked information that Len Yuian returned to the corrupt path and voluntarily accepted her execution. I feel like Zheng Wenlong's information is more reliable. The corrupt path is only saying that to force me to appear. If I don't go, they'll have a new name for me that I'll never be able to wash away, said Long Chen. I doubt things are that simple. That Len Yuian couldn't possibly be captured so easily. Furthermore, she obtained my essence soul, but I've never managed to sense its aura from her. In other words, she has yet to refine my dragon core. So what is she planning on using it for? I can't care about such things. Tomorrow, there will be a bloodbath. It's time to see whether I'm a dragon or a serpent. After saying that, Long Chen closed his eyes. He wanted to calm himself down before the final moment. He had to enter his top condition. In the central Xuan region's northern border, near the northern Xuan region, there was a hidden entrance to a minor world. That was one of the corrupt path's three major strongholds. It was a forbidden region to the righteous path, and no one dared to approach it. This minor world was called the Heavenly Evil Region. It was quite vast, almost as large as the Eastern Wasteland, and there were tens of thousands of sects of the corrupt path inside. It was their only stronghold outside the Martial Heaven Continent. The ruler of the Heavenly Evil Region was the Heavenly Evil Sect, and the Sect Master was also the master of the corrupt path, Z Wentian. Actually, the other two strongholds also had leaders of the corrupt path present. They had sent their heavenly geniuses into the Yun Yang world as well. Those two were Ji Yu Iken and Miang Ji Ye. Together with Zi Luo, they were called the corrupt path's three corrupt kings. As a result, Miang Ji Ye had been slain by Yi Lingxian, turning them into just two kings. The heavenly evil region was very lively today. Experts from the other strongholds had gathered here. Today. A major matter was occurring within the corrupt path. Their supreme genius, Len Yuian, was being executed. Len Yuian was a mysterious and miraculous figure within the corrupt path. Her fame might even be greater than Long Chen's fame in the righteous path. The heavenly evil cave was located at the center of this region and was also the location of the heavenly evil sect. There was a giant cave here, 
and inside was a statue of the corrupt god, as well as statues of their greatest leaders. It was the most sacred place to the corrupt path. Each year, they would offer sacrifices to this place. Today, atop a giant sacrificial altar, there was a woman shackled in blood-red chains. She was bound onto a wooden pillar in the middle of the altar. The wooden pillar was just three meters tall, but it was covered in runes that emitted an evil air. It was like billions of evil spirits were baring their teeth. Len Yuian was bound to the pillar, and although her hair was in disarray, it didn't conceal her peerless beauty, as well as her noble air. Her sapphire eyes were staring calmly at the distance. There wasn't the slightest emotion on her face. There were countless experts of the corrupt path here. Just the nether passage experts already numbered in the hundreds. As for other experts, they were in the tens of thousands. This was definitely the largest matter of the corrupt path in living history. Len Yuian, you betrayed the corrupt god. Today, you will be sacrificed to the corrupt god so that the corrupt god can cleanse your filthy soul. Do you have anything to say? shouted an elder who looked like a zombie that had just crawled out of the ground. Len Yuian was still expressionless. She didn't even blink. Her eyes were still staring into the distance. It was as if she hadn't heard him. The elder was enraged, shouting, You have no respect for the corrupt god and have failed to live up to the corrupt god's favor in raising you. Even with death at hand, you still don't repent. There is nothing that can save you. Len Yuian was completely ignoring that person. She was ignoring everything about this, including her own life and death. The experts couldn't help feeling some pity for her death. Her talent was just that amazing. She had been raised to be a divine sprout. But who would have thought that for Long Chen, she would actually betray the corrupt path? She had infuriated Zi Wentian. Amongst the crowd, there was a pair of eyes that glinted with divine light. That person's eyes were excited and filled with anticipation. It was Zi Luo. The elder took out a scroll upon seeing that Len Yuian refused to say anything. He began to list her crimes. Once her crimes were finished being read off, he looked towards Zi Wentian who was standing at the front. Seeing him nod, he raised his hand. Let the execution begin. Hold it. Just at this moment, a voice that made everyone look back rang out. They saw a black-robed man with a black saber on his shoulder. His divine ring was spinning behind him. Long Chen Chapter 1956 1956 Long Chen was covered in blood, and even his hair had some blood on it. Under the light of his divine ring, he was like a devil god that had just charged out of hell. One man and one saber, slowly walking forward. Countless corrupt experts closed the path behind him. They followed him from behind, terrified. Long Chen had charged his way in here. All those who had blocked him on the way had been killed. The corrupt experts near the entrance of the heavenly evil region had eventually been too terrified to try blocking him. They had retreated, simply following behind him. The corrupt path might be famed for their viciousness but they had never seen someone as vicious as this. Zi Wentian smiled upon seeing Long Chen. He hadn't really expected Long Chen to come. When Heavenly Fate Island had told him to spread the word about the execution to bait Long Chen into coming, he had felt it to be stupid. It was clearly a trap. Only an idiot would come. But this idiot called Long Chen had really come. Zi Luo was also smiling, very delightedly at that. He knew that Long Chen wouldn't be able to leave now that he had come. In the future, there would be no Long Chen in this world. The expressionless Len Yuian finally smiled. It was like a flower blooming. But at the same time, her sapphire eyes became wet. Pearl-like tears dripped down her face one by one. Everyone was deathly silent. Only the sound of Long Chen's footsteps resounded through the air. However, behind those footsteps was a faint sound of blood dripping. Long Chen's walk was like a sorrowful overture. Even in the face of death, he refused to stop walking. Long Chen didn't look at Zi Luo or Zi Wentian. He didn't even look at the mass of corrupt experts present. In his gaze was only the women bound to the wooden pillar. This is the second time I've seen you cry. Long Chen walked straight over to Len Yuian. He reached out and wiped away her tears. Len Yuian smiled. There was an indescribable emotion in her eyes. You are the first man to see me cry ever since I started cultivating. Oh? Then I'm honored. At first I didn't know if this was really worth it, but hearing that, I feel like it is worth it. 
Long Chen smiled. Len Yuian shook her head. Do you know how stupid you are? Now that you've come, you won't be able to leave. They've already sealed the heavenly evil region. No matter how many reinforcements you call, they won't be able to break the barrier to this world. You will definitely die. That's all right. Don't I have you to accompany me? With the Devil Empress by me, even the Yellow Springs won't feel lonely. It might even be a marvelous sight. Our enmities and favors have left us entangled. This result is good. If you could protect me once, I can protect you for a lifetime. Hearing that, Len Yuian's eyes once more got wet. Long Chen had come here despite knowing he was sending himself to his death. Perhaps the only one in this world who could actually care about Len Yuian and actually sacrifice their life for her was Long Chen. Suddenly, clapping rang out. Zi Luo said, what a pair of emotional lovers. Even I'm moved. How about this? Long Chen, I'll give you a chance. We'll have a one-on-one -on -one battle. If you beat me, I'll release the two of you. If you lose, you have to hand over all your secrets. And in return, I will make sure that the two of your corpses aren't defiled. How's that? Zi Luo's eyes were shining. He had already advanced to the third vestige of Life Star. The corrupt path's resources had all been concentrated on him. Hence, the current Zi Luo gave Long Chen a very dangerous feeling. In truth, the one who would benefit the most from Len Yuian's execution was Zi Luo. Through this special sacrifice, the corrupt god would bestow Len Yuian's divine abilities to him. Then he would possess her monstrous death energy. That was a terrifying power. This challenge was not out of the goodness of his heart. He wanted to beat Long Chen himself, wiping away his previous disgrace and making sure that Huo Liyan and true immortal Jiaoki wouldn't have the same chance. Although they were called allies, once their enemies were eliminated, they would become enemies again. If Huo Liyan and true immortal Jiaoki didn't manage to defeat Long Chen, it would leave a blemish on their Dao hearts, which would very likely slow down how quickly they advanced to Nether Passage. Then Zi Luo would have an immense advantage. As Zi Wenchen's son, Zi Luo was quite crafty. He said that he would release the two of them if he won, but that only represented himself, not the corrupt path. This promise was meaningless. More importantly, he wanted to capture Long Chen alive. Everyone on the continent hoped to know Long Chen's secrets. The Dragonblood Legion was too terrifying. Their talent should have made them nothing more than cannon fodder. But Long Chen had turned them into the world's number one legion. If there was no secret behind this, well, no one would believe that. The reason for Pill Valley's enmity with Long Chen was mostly because of their greed for his secrets. For Long Chen to send himself here, he was practically gifting his secrets to the corrupt path. If they weren't afraid of Long Chen using some secret art to kill himself and destroy his secrets, they would have long since attacked. Glancing at Zi Luo, Long Chen smiled coldly. He was far too immature to play schemes with him. Long Chen saw through his intentions instantly. He ignored him and turned back to Len Yuian. He gently brushed back her hair. He messaged her. How can I save you? Len Yuian shook her head. You can't save me. This pillar contains the faith energy of the corrupt path. No power can break it. Once the ceremony begins, I will be sacrificed. After that, Divine energy will come down here, and everything will be over. Long Chen, thank you. You were the one who showed me that there could still be someone who loved me in this world. I know that if you go all out, then with your saber, you have a chance to tear through space and leave here. Leave while you can. If you exhaust yourself, you won't have a chance. I won't leave you. We either leave together or die together. No one can change this. Since I can't beat this altar. Then I'll have to find some other way. There's always some solution, said Long Chen. Turning to Zi Luo, he said, Don't you think your words are crap? Once you're defeated by me, you won't live up to your own promise. Long Chen, don't throw mud on my name in an attempt to anger me. I've always followed through with my word. It's just that you don't have the ability to defeat me, said Zi Luo. Long Chen, don't. Once you start fighting, you won't have the energy to leave shouted Len Yuian. Since I've come, I never had any intention of leaving by myself. Either we leave together, or we die together. Five stars lit up in Long Chen's eyes. His 108,000 stars activated, unleashing endless energy. 
He attacked Ziluo with his saber. He really is a hateful and lovable fellow. Well, it's fine. Len Yuian muttered to herself upon seeing Long Chen's back. Ziluo raised a hand, and a snake head spear appeared. The entire spear twisted and turned. It looked to be covered in rust or corrosion, but it unleashed an evil air. It struck like a viper. Corrupt god possession. Ziluo let out a cry, and a figure appeared in his manifestation. That figure was covered in black mist, but its body unleashed a sinister aura. Ziluo's body became covered in black runes. The snake head spear pierced toward Long Chen. Boom. The two divine items clashed, unleashing surging chi waves that even pressured the nether passage experts present. The two of them were actually equally matched. Ziluo snorted. Bring out the power you used yesterday. I want to defeat you in your peak state. Otherwise, you'll die before I even use my world energy. That would be too boring. As expected, news of the battle yesterday had reached this place. Even his trump cards had been exposed. Fine. Let me see just how powerful your world energy is. Long Chen took a deep breath. A dragon cry rang out through the world, shaking people's souls. Cracks appeared on Long Chen's body as white scales appeared irregularly across his skin. He was unable to summon the complete Azure Dragon battle armor, but the power he suddenly unleashed shocked everyone. That dragon might was unstoppable. Ha ha ha. Good. This is the only way to make things fun. Defeating you in this state is the only way to show that I, Ziluo, am the strongest Ziluo laughed. His hair suddenly stood on end. The black runes on his body seemed to come to life, and they roved over his body. At the same time, the surrounding space exploded. An unprecedented energy raged through the air. My evil spirit energy is able to merge with my world energy. Today, I'll make sure you're convinced of your defeat. Ziluo had a sinister smile. The snake head spear suddenly rumbled and attacked. The void collapsed in every direction. I'll defeat you in one move. Heaven Devouring Evil Spear Chapter 1957 1957 Ziluo didn't hesitate or use any probing blows. He immediately unleashed his strongest attack, wanting to defeat Long Chen in one move to wipe away his previous disgrace. This was no longer his first fight against Long Chen, so they were both familiar with each other's techniques. Long Chen's fighting style was very simple. It was to win with power. Split the Heaven Seven. Long Chen also didn't hold back. He directly used the seventh form of Split the Heavens. The two of them unleashed their strongest attacks right off the bat. Ziluo's goal was obvious. While Long Chen was still at the peak of soul transformation, Ziluo wanted to crush him with absolute power to show off his own power. If he could only win after fighting a protracted battle, that would make him a laughingstock. After all, he was already at the third heaven stage of Life Star. Boom. Evil Moon unleashed an explosion of divine light. It was like a volcano had erupted in the air, and a ripple spread through it. Wherever the ripple passed, the void exploded. The immense power caused even the Nether Passage experts' expressions to change. They raised defenses, blocking the shock waves. Otherwise, if this power was left to run rampant, not many people below the Nether Passage realm would be able to survive. Although Life Star Experts were not that rare in this world, these Life Star Experts were the elders and masters of the various sects. If they died, it would throw the heavenly evil region into chaos. Split the heavens seven. Before the shockwaves were even passed, a furious row rang out. Another giant saber image tore through the sky. You want to fight like this? Then let's see just who is afraid of who. Heavenly Devouring Evil Spear. Ziluo also unleashed the same technique. He was surprised that he hadn't defeated Long Chen in one move. Just where did Long Chen get the power to resist the merged might of his evil spirit body and world energy? However, he wasn't too worried. Just now, Long Chen had become covered in blood as his physical body was unable to endure his own immense power. Continuing like this would only be more disadvantageous to Ziluo. Boom. Yet again. A powerful collision caused shockwaves to spread, this time with even greater momentum than last time. The Nether Passage experts were forced to strengthen their barriers. Split the heavens seven. Long Chen once more raised Evil Moon, and a saber image slashed down at Ziluo. HMPH. After this move is over, you'll be a cripple. Ziluo had some blood leaking out of the corner of his mouth. 
He had suffered a light injury just now, but he didn't mind. Unleashing this attack again meant that Long Chen would be fully out of energy. He might not even have the energy to stand. He was still at the Soul Transformation Realm, while Zilua was at the Life Star Realm and controlled his evil spirit energy and world energy. There was a clear difference between them. Zilua's evil aura sword as he once more clashed directly with Long Chen's saber image. Bang. However, this time, Long Chen's saber image instantly crumbled. It actually didn't have the slightest energy within it. Ziluo's snake head spear sent Evil Moon tumbling through the air, while Long Chen had vanished. Watch out! Shouts rang out. Long Chen had appeared behind Ziluo at some time, a lightning spear in his hand. What Ziluo was startled. Long Chen's third attack was actually a fake, and Evil Moon was the bait. Heavenly Evil Shield. The figure within Ziluo's manifestation suddenly reached out a hand. That hand held a shield that blocked Long Chen's spear. The lightning spear pierced into the shield, causing black runes to fly. But it was unable to pierce through it completely. Ziluo used that chance to attack with his spear. Having his attack blocked, Long Chen didn't pause. He formed hand seals, and runes lit up on his arms. Double dragon destruction two roars rang out as Lai Long and Huo Long came flying out. Flames overflowed from the sky, and lightning raged. Boom. Ziluo's expression completely changed. This time, Lai Long and Huo Long were unleashing all their power. Their destructive power actually made him lose connection to the heavenly deos. Lai Long and Huo Long hadn't gone all out in a long time. Huo Long was even igniting all of its energy to destroy the influence of the heavenly deos within this region. Break. Ziluo roared. With his heavenly Dao energy stripped away, he focused on his world energy. Divine light condensed on his spear. Boom. Lightning and flames devoured the world, making Ziluo cough up a mouthful of blood. Huo Long had actually detonated at that critical time, unleashing all of its power. As a result, even Ziluo's internal organs were damaged by it. Split the heavens seven. Just at this moment, a black saber image slashed toward Ziluo while he was heavily injured. Crap. Ziluo's expression changed. The flame dragon's detonation had unleashed black flames that overwhelmed the energy of the heavenly deos. He couldn't heal. In this state, he could only resist with his world energy. Boom. After a miserable clash, Ziluo's body was covered in blood. He had almost died. At this time, the corrupt path's people's expressions changed. Long Chen was only at the peak of soul transformation. How could he be so terrifying? They had thought that Ziluo would have an easy victory. But Long Chen was actually able to force Ziluo to the point that they were both covered in blood. Right now, Long Chen's body was covered in cracks, and his bones were visible from many spots. His injuries were even worse than Ziluo's. However, just as they thought that the two of them had both run out of energy, the white scales on Long Chen's body vanished. Following that, his injuries instantly healed. What everyone was shocked. Just how was it possible to heal such terrifying injuries so quickly? Having dissipated the Azure Dragon battle armor, he was able to use the Primal Chaos Space's life energy to heal. But now, Long Chen wouldn't be able to use the Azure Dragon battle armor again for a while, as he also wasn't capable of keeping it up any longer. His body had already reached its limit. Long Chen no longer had the Azure Dragon battle armor, but he had the 5-star battle armor. He shot after Ziluo, unleashing a tempest of attacks with Evil Moon. The world was covered in black flames because Huo Long had sacrificed all the energy it could expend without dying. Within these black flames, Ziluo was like a drowning man. No matter how good a swimmer was, they always needed a chance to breathe. After blocking Long Chen's 19th slash, Ziluo couldn't endure any longer. One of his arms exploded, and his spear fell away. As for Long Chen, he didn't pause. He continued to press forward. Ziluo was stripped of his heavenly Dao energy now. Unfortunately, the Black Illusion Dragon Flame wouldn't be able to last for long. It was already starting to dissipate. And once the heavenly Dao energy returned, Ziluo would be able to heal and instantly crush Long Chen. Long Chen was panting, and his aura was slightly turbulent as he had already reached his limit. With both sides at critical moments. It was Ziluo who was terrified. Looking at Long Chen's bloodthirsty eyes, he was finally afraid. 
Boom. With only one arm, Ziluo caught the snake head spear and blocked Long Chen's next attack. Using a special technique, he managed to force aside some of Long Chen's power, but he was still sent tumbling back. Seeing this, Zi went he on side. Zi Luo had been defeated. He had been defeated because he wasn't ruthless enough, and no longer had the courage to continue using head-on clashes against Long Chen. He understood his son very well. As long as Zi Luo had continued fighting head-on, Long Chen would have definitely been killed. He could see just how much energy the two of them had left. Long Chen was running on empty, while Zi Luo still had quite a bit of energy. However, Zi Luo was running, which signified defeat. He had not just lost now, but he would also lose in the future forever. Experts needed absolute confidence. If a person doubted their own power, they would never be able to be a true expert. Die. Long Chen roared, his voice causing chills. Save me. Zi Wentian shook his head. He was very disappointed in this successor of his. However, he couldn't allow Long Chen to kill his son. Looking at the sky. He saw that the Black Illusion Dragon Flame would only last for two more breaths time before dissipating. Then Zi Luo would be able to absorb Heavenly Dao energy, and Long Chen would become a lamb for the slaughter. However, two breaths time was as long as two hours to the current Zi Luo. He couldn't hold on. Zi Wentian reached out to break the Black Flames, but just at that moment, a giant claw slammed toward him. What Zi Wentian was startled. A rune lit up on his hand and a giant palm image smashed toward the claw. Boom. The giant claw exploded, unleashing a wave of lightning that forced back Z Wentian. HMPH, you're nothing more than a pet for the human race. Z Wentian sneered. He was about to attack when Z Luo let out a miserable cry. Chapter 1958. 1958 Z Luo's head had actually been cut off by Long Chen. His head was flying through the air and screaming. Damn it. I missed. Long Chen felt like his head was about to split. He was past his limit. Just now, he had been aiming to pierce right through Zi Luo's head, but he had ended up striking the neck instead. If Long Chen had struck Zi Luo right in the head, he would have had a 50% chance of controlling his Yuan spirit. However, he had failed. Taking a deep breath, Long Chen was about to make up for his missed attack when one of the corrupt path's elders flew over, smashing a palm at him. Long Chen instinctively raised his saber to block and was sent smashing back like a shooting star, crashing into the ground. He coughed up blood. He felt like the world was spinning around him. He was about to collapse. Long Chen, hand over your life. Just at this moment, Zi Luo came charging over. The Black Illusion Dragon Flame had dissipated, which had restored his heavenly Dao energy. Zi Luo had recovered to at least 70%. Thinking of how miserable his plight had been just now, Zi Luo was infuriated. Boom. Suddenly, the sky tore apart. A giant lightning dragon came out, once more clashing against Zi Wentian. Meanwhile, Zi Wenchen's expression was calm. The space around him crumbled as he displayed the power of the leader of the corrupt path. Long Chen. Just what did you do? I can't beat him. I'm unable to use my full power here said the Silver Drake King to Long Chen. So as expected, he had lost? Long Chen couldn't help sighing. After the double dragon destruction, Huo Long had detonated, while Lai Long had preserved a bit of its energy to condense spatial runes in secret. When Zi Wentian had tried to interfere, Lai Long had created the spatial channel, summoning the Silver Drake King. Long Chen hadn't had any extravagant hopes that the Drake King would be able to annihilate all his enemies. One reason was that the spatial channel limited its energy, and Long Chen couldn't create a larger channel that could allow it to use more of its power. He had merely hoped that it could buy him enough time. As long as he could capture Zi Luo, he would have gained a powerful trump card. If he could use Zi Luo's life in exchange for Len Yuian's life, perhaps he might have managed to get away. However, it was all over now. Zi Luo had recovered and the Drake King was blocked by Zi Wentian. Long Chen was finally seeing the power of the leader of the corrupt path. That kind of power wasn't something he could face. Right now, Zi Wentian wasn't even going all out. He was easily able to block the Silver Drake King from getting to Long Chen. It really was an absolute failure Long Chen's side. His original plan was to first release Len Yuian from her chains, 
but that wooden pillar was too strange, and Len Yuian had directly told him that it was impossible. Then he had switched to capturing Zi Luo as a hostage. His plan had been to summon the Silver Drake King and bring them into the Lightning Field, and then he would think of some other way to return to the Martial Heaven continent. However, it was all over now. Zi Wentian clearly had more than enough power to stop the Drake King. Even if Long Chen had managed to capture Zi Luo, he wouldn't have been able to leave the heavenly evil region. This place was a death trap. Long Chen clenched Evil Moon. Evil Moon still had a bit of energy. It was flowing through his body, and although its power had already dropped, Long Chen wouldn't give up. Long Chen stared at Zi Luo, while Zi Luo glared daggers at him. He had originally been planning on crushing Long Chen, and his spear was already raised. However, he never let it fall. He suddenly smiled sinisterly. Long Chen, don't you call yourself someone who cares about friends and relationships? Then let me test whether that's really true. Zi Luo suddenly waved his hand, unleashing a ray of divine light at the distant altar. The altar's divine runes lit up. The light seemed like flame serpents dancing through the air. Sixteen wooden pillars slowly rose out of the altar, reaching all the way into the sky. The void rumbled as fragments of spastime shattered and crumbled. The altar actually formed a giant channel. Long Chen, I'll let you personally witness Len Yuian being sacrificed. Look well as her flesh and soul are stripped away. Ha ha ha. With one order from Zi Luo, hundreds of the corrupt paths experts suddenly knelt on the ground. They began to chant something. More runes lit up on the altar. This time, they were blood-colored and flowed toward Len Yuian like bloody rivers. Long Chen roared and charged toward the altar. However, just as he was approaching it, he was repulsed by some invisible energy. He was blown back many miles before stabilizing and then he spat out a mouthful of blood that was actually black. It seemed that he had been cursed. Len Yuian was looking at Long Chen. Tears dripped down her face, but she didn't have the slightest fear or panic on it. The only thing left there was a tender emotion. Long Chen charged forward once more, this time piercing forward with Evil Moon. However, he was blown back again. Ha ha ha, Long Chen. Do you know? In front of the Divine Altar. You're nothing more than an ant. Your struggling is foolish. All it will do is bring you closer to death. How is it? Is it satisfying? Laughed Zi Luo delightedly. He felt like killing Long Chen while he was lost in the deepest pit of despair would be much better. In the distance, Zi Wentian was still blocking the Drake King. He didn't say anything about Zi Luo's actions. If he allowed Zi Luo to torment Long Chen, it might make up for the flaw in Zi Luo's Dao heart from losing to Long Chen. If he was lucky, perhaps the heart devil would disappear once Long Chen died. At this moment, the lightning channel shrank. The lightning drake let out an unwilling roar as it was pulled back into the lightning field. Long Chen no longer had any more energy to maintain the spatial channel. Long Chen, give up. This barrier is made of divine energy. You can't get past it. Even if you were in your peak condition, you've lost. Side of Il Moon. Defeat was truly just the tip of the iceberg. I, Long Chen, definitely won't give up as long as I'm alive. I never lived off luck. Every slightest chance I get is something I won. No matter how remote the odds are, I have to fight. Giving up would mean lowering my head to fate. And I don't lower my head to anyone. Not fate. And not the heavens. Long Chen wiped some blood off his mouth. Zi Luo's laughter rang in his ears. But he ignored it. Len Yuian was covered in blood-colored runes and the spatial channel in the sky was unleashing divine might. It was like a god was really descending upon this world. Blessing of the corrupt god. Cleanse my body. Let me have no fear. Let me forget myself. Forget reality. The only thing in this world is God's blessing. For bestowing me my body, I will carry out the will of the heavens. To let the strong survive. To let the weak die. To let all lives grow stronger. All the corrupt paths experts piously knelt down chanting. Their voices shook the sky. Long Chen stepped forward carefully. Before this, he had been unable to pinpoint the exact location of the barrier. This time, he found it. I'll test this. Long Chen suddenly took out a bronze fragment. He carefully pushed it forward, and when it was about to touch the invisible barrier, he slammed it forward. Suddenly, a black opening appeared in space. At the same time, 
Long Chen spat out blood and was blown back once more. The opening rapidly grew throughout the barrier. Cracks then appeared on the altar and even the surrounding space. It was like the world was crumbling. Not good. The divine blessing has just descended. But the barrier was broken. Zi Wenchen's expression changed. And he hastily rushed over. There was a pair of black wings on his back. Which he used to prop up the formation. Divine light fell. Zi Luo. Capture Long Chen. Zi Wentian suddenly shouted because he saw Long Chen charging back. Even he hadn't anticipated that Long Chen would have the ability to break this barrier. He hadn't even seen what Long Chen had used. Long Chen, if you can receive this next blow, I'll spare your life, shouted Zi Luo. He put away the snake head spear, instead slamming a palm at Long Chen. Trash, your words are just crap. After being defeated, you ate your promise. Is the taste of your own crap good? Cursed Long Chen. Zi Luo's expression sank. He thought of his agreement with Long Chen to release him if he was defeated. And he truly had been defeated. If it hadn't been for Zi Wentian and the other Nether Passage experts of the corrupt path, he might already be dead. Having this point be brought up, he felt like he had been slapped in the face. Bastard. Shut up. Zi Luo roared and suddenly spread his arms. Divine runes appeared forming a runic net that attempted to capture Long Chen. Long Chen was out of energy, and Zi Luo wanted to capture him alive. You shut up. Long Chen suddenly smashed a cyan brick at Zi Luo. Chapter 1959 1959 The Heaven Flipping Seal's Divine Light erupted. After accumulating energy for such a long time, its power was shocking. Long Chen could tell that there was no way he was escaping alive, if he could at least bring down Zi Luo with him. Today wouldn't be a total failure. The heaven flipping seal smashed toward Zi Luo. It didn't hold back at all. When Zi Wentian saw the heaven flipping seal, his expression changed. He shouted, Go help. If it was a normal time, perhaps Zi Luo wouldn't need to fear this attack. But his power had already dropped from his peak. Although it looked like he had 70% of his power on the surface. He was still filled with internal injuries and couldn't bear such a powerful attack. Boom. The surrounding Nether Passage experts immediately launched their attacks to stop the Heaven Flipping Seal. Over ten rays of divine light struck it and shattered upon contact. The Heaven Flipping Seal had been accumulating energy for a long time, and Long Chen had advanced to the twelfth vestige of soul transformation, meaning his spiritual strength was stronger and able to provide better nourishment for it. Zi Luo's expression changed. With a furious roar, he slammed his palms into the heaven flipping seal. After a powerful explosion, his body had been flattened into a meatloaf. Long Chen was about to direct the heaven flipping seal to kill him in this state when the nether passage experts shot over, sending it flying. Long Chen couldn't bother with that. He once more pierced the bronze fragment in his hand at the barrier. This time, he created a giant cut. This piece of bronze was a fragment of the Eastern Wasteland Bell. He had just been testing it, but it really had worked. It was able to tear through this barrier of divine energy. Cracks covered the entire barrier, and it crumbled. Even Zi Wentian wasn't able to stop it. Divine energy raged as fragments of the barrier shot out in every direction. As the person at the front, Long Chen was struck first, but the heaven flipping seal came flying over, blocking it for him. Despite that, Long Chen sensed his bones shatter. The corrupt path's experts were alarmed and hastily defended. However, this divine power was horrific, and some of the Life Star experts were slain. Long Chen felt like he might collapse at any time. Even the sounds of the outside world were growing distant. However, he couldn't faint yet. Fainting was a kind of escape. Giving up, with his immense willpower, he kept his eyes open. His vision was murky. With his last bit of spiritual strength, he examined his surroundings. This world had been ruined. Other than the altar and the statue of the corrupt god, everything else had been destroyed. That was the power of a god. Len Yuian was still bound at the center of the altar. Her head was lowered, and Long Chen couldn't tell if she was alive or dead. Tottering on his last legs, Long Chen stumbled toward Len Yuian. Dust filled the air, and the remnants of that divine energy lingered terrifying people. It was like a god had been enraged. One figure after another popped out of the ground. 
One of the nether passage experts pulled out a piece of meatloaf. Yes, it was the corrupt path's genius, Ziluo. Ziluo was unconscious. If it hadn't been for that nether passage expert's protection, he would have died. Even with his body in this state, it could be restored in the future. This physical body was still the best one for Ziluo. One expert popped out after another, pale with terror. Was this the wrath of the corrupt god? Only a single lonely figure continued to walk toward the altar. The sound of blood dripping echoed. Fresh drops continued to bloom on the ground. That scene was similar to when he had first come. However, at that time, Long Chen had appeared mighty and domineering. The blood dripping had belonged to the corrupt path's experts. Now, Long Chen's robes were in tatters. His body was on the verge of collapse, and it looked like he might crumble at any moment. The blood dripping down was his. Each drop represented another step closer to death. However, Long Chen's gaze was still calm. It hadn't changed from when he had first come. The sounds of his footsteps and dripping blood were the only things that could be heard. Despite Long Chen being the corrupt path's greatest enemy, their greatest threat, this side of him shook them to their core. They knew that he was exhausted, and that any ordinary disciple would probably be able to kill him. But they didn't move. They couldn't. Zi Wentian was gloomy as he floated in the sky. The altar's barrier had actually failed. That was a blasphemy to the corrupt god. His gaze was sharp as he looked at Long Chen. He was currently thinking about how he could appease the corrupt god. Should he keep Long Chen here or should he offer Long Chen up as a sacrifice as well? If he did, it would have to be a complete sacrifice, including his weapons, his souls, and his memories. If that happened, his secrets would belong to the altar. What infuriated him the most was that even if he made that sacrifice, he wouldn't receive any reward. If anything, just appeasing the corrupt god's anger would be not bad. A vein bulged on Zi Wenchen's forehead, glancing at the meatloaf in the distance. He was even angrier. Zi Luo's Dao heart was doomed, and a good sacrificial altar had been turned into this state. On top of that, they wouldn't obtain anything good either. Len Yuian's eyes were closed and her face was pale white. There wasn't the slightest aura around her. However, the fluctuations of life around her proved that she was still living. When Long Chen finally staggered over to her, Len Yuian's eyes slowly opened. There was a faint tender emotion in them. Was it worth it for you to do this? Len Yuian looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression. She knew that he cared deeply about relationships, but it was also because of this that he had to cherish his own life. He always said that his life didn't just belong to him but to all who loved him. Now, just for her, he had clearly sent himself to his death, fighting for a chance that never existed. Who knows? In any case, I'm not going to just watch as someone kills you, unless they're stepping over my corpse. You really are a fool. Len Yuian shook her head, but she had a sweet smile, one beautiful enough to topple all lives. Reactivate the altar and sacrifice the two of them to appease the corrupt god, barked Zi Wentian. Zi Wentian had made his choice. He didn't want Long Chen's secrets anymore as appeasing the corrupt god was more important. If they offended their god, they would receive a terrifying punishment. The corrupt experts began to chant solemnly once more. The runes on the altar slowly lit up. Fuck. After courting death for a lifetime, I finally succeeded. Long Chen took a deep breath. Do you regret it? Asked Len Yuian. I've done many foolish things, but not one thing that I regret. Thank you. Len Yuian suddenly reached out and hugged Long Chen, kissing him on the lips. You. Long Chen couldn't speak with Len Yuian's mouth blocking his. Everyone's expressions changed, including Zi Wenshin's. Len Yuian had clearly been bound by the corrupt god's altar. Just how was she free to move? Starting today. You are my man. Len Yuian smiled and the paleness on her face vanished. In fact, she looked healthier than ever and didn't look injured at all. She extended a hand, and her bone sword appeared. She slashed it behind him. Boom. Divine light exploded. Len Yuian had actually sliced apart the wooden pillar. The portion of the pillar she had sliced off was actually taken by her. Long Chen was staring at her in shock, not understanding. That pillar contained the faith energy of the corrupt path. Just how was it possible to break it with mortal power? The two were not on the same level. Everyone was stunned. 
not daring to believe their eyes. Suddenly, Zi Wentian slammed his palm at Len Yuian, his expression grave. He seemed to have noticed something. Chapter 1960 1960 Zi Wentian attacked, his palm seeming to fill the sky. There was nowhere to run as it crashed down toward Len Yuian and Long Chen. Only noticing now is too late. In the end, you're a disciple of the corrupt god. Can you really resist the energy of the corrupt god? Len Yuian swung her sword. There was a glimmer to her sword that had not been present before. Zi Wenchen's palm image was sliced apart, and Len Yuian's sword chi continued, leaving a bottomless ditch in the ground that continued beyond the horizon. Anyone that had been there was killed, whether at the Life Star Realm or the Nether Passage Realm. Len Yuian sliced the space behind her and pulled Long Chen inside it along with her. Looking back at Zi Wentian, she said, Thank you for your help. As thanks, I won't kill you. Just like that, Len Yuian and Long Chen vanished within the tier in space. Sect Master, the Nether Passage experts were pale and dumbfounded. Just what kind of existence was Len Yuian? Zi Wenchen's expression was ugly. Killing intent raged within him as his fury reached a peak. Len Yuian was just a life star disciple, and he should be able to slay her easily. However, somehow she had absorbed a portion of the corrupt god's energy. That energy was what allowed them to call out to the corrupt god. The corrupt god sensed their calls through it and sent down traces of its divine energy as a bridge so that they could hear its voice. However, before they had finished the ceremony, it had been broken by Long Chen, and a portion of that energy had actually been absorbed by Len Yuian. That pillar was where the corrupt path's faith energy was gathered. Even a divine item would be unable to cause any damage to it. But Len Yuian had sliced through it easily. Zi Wentian wouldn't fear her normally, but he couldn't block the energy that belonged to the corrupt god. Because he was a follower of the corrupt god, how could he fight against his god? So, Zi Wentian was filled with rage. All his world-shaking power was unable to be released. He could only watch as Len Yuian brought Long Chen away. Looking at the part of the pillar that remained, he knew that this was a disgrace, an unprecedented humiliation. Suddenly, a rune lit up in the sky. That rune rapidly spun and divine energy descended. It's the corrupt god's directive Zi Wentian let out a startled cry and hastily knelt on the ground. The other experts also knelt. This kind of thing had only occurred twice in all of the corrupt path's known history. This was the third time, and everyone was shaking with excitement. This was a communication with the god. A rune fell onto Zi Wenchen's hand and his whole body shook. Following that, the divine energy faded. Shockingly, the pillar that Len Yuian had broken had actually been restored. The sacred corrupt god's power is limitless. All the corrupt experts let out cries of emotion. Some of them were even crying. They were fanatics who had just seen their god. Only Zi Wentian was still stunned. There had only been a simple message in that directive. Do not provoke that girl. Just what kind of existence was Len Yuian? She had broken their sacred pillar and killed so many of their experts. But the corrupt god's directive was to actually not provoke her. Zi Wentian looked up at the sky for a long time without saying anything. The corrupt god wishes for all talented disciples on the level of Empyreans to gather at the great totem for the divine blessing. All the corrupt path's experts were delighted. They hastily returned to their own sects alerting their disciples to come over. A portion of these experts also sent word to the other strongholds. This was a divine blessing, something that might not occur in tens of thousands of years. Zi Wentian had many questions, but he also relaxed slightly. At least, the corrupt god didn't punish them. After walking over to Zi Luo, Zi Wentian pointed a finger at his son's head. He respectfully said, Thank you for your care, corrupt god, Zi Luo who was on his last breaths, became wrapped in divine light. When Len Yuian dragged Long Chen into a tear in space, Long Chen finally lost consciousness. During this time, he seemed to be able to hear Len Yuian's soft voice and vaguely feel a pair of hands cleaning his body. After an unknown amount of time, Long Chen slowly opened his eyes. His body had fully recovered. Even the primal chaos space's world trees had revitalized. It had to be known that during the battle, the world trees had long since withered. Evil Moon, how long was I sleeping? Asked Long Chen. Back then, Long Chen hadn't had the slightest bit of energy. Hence, 
Evil Moon and the Heaven Flipping Seal could only retreat to his spiritual space. It's already been three months, said Evil Moon. That long, Long Chen was startled. What do you think? Without such a long time, do you think you could have recovered? Your body was about to crumble back then, said Evil Moon irritably. What's wrong with you? I'm fine. I've recovered, and I've also benefited. When the altar's formation was destroyed, I managed to absorb a bit of divine energy. He, I'll also have a trump card in the future, chortled Evil Moon. Where is Len Yuian? Thinking of Len Yuian, Long Chen felt a chill inside. He had no idea of that girl's terrifying origins. No idea. She brought you here and looked after you for two days before leaving. She has never returned, so she might have really left. She had left? Long Chen felt a bit of disappointment. He had risked his life to save her, and she had left just like that? Are you awake? Suddenly, a tender figure appeared in front of Long Chen. There was a warmth in Len Yuian's eyes now, as well as a rare smile. Yup, I'm also fully recovered. Long Chen smiled. So Len Yuian hadn't left. Len Yuian was like a steep mountain that made people look up to it with reverence and despair. This mountain only looked down on others coldly. However, there were emotions between Long Chen and Len Yuian. Deep within Long Chen's heart, he felt a strong sense of accomplishment. This was the illness of men. The stronger the woman, the more accomplished the man felt upon conquering her. Although Long Chen wouldn't say that he had conquered Len Yuian, at least everyone in this world saw that she had feelings for him. The two of them simply looked at each other. Len Yuian smiled and bent down. Their faces were less than an inch away. Everything about Len Yuian was perfect. A perfection that shouldn't exist in this world. Long Chen's heartbeat quickened. Len Yuian was like a poisonous rose that had a fatal charm to men. Just as Long Chen was expecting a tender kiss, Len Yuian paused. She smiled. Since you've recovered. Then let's properly settle our debts. Long Chen felt a sharp pain from his thigh. At some point, Len Yuian had stabbed her bone sword into his leg. His defenses were useless. Are you mental? Raged Long Chen. This crazy woman's head was definitely not normal. She actually repaid kindness with enmity. Long Chen pushed his hands forward, wanting to push on Len Yuian's chest. But she slipped away like a phantom. He, why so angry? laughed Len Yuian. She was delighted, like a little devil. Is your head sick? If you have some illness, tell me. I have plenty of medicine. If you eat enough, I guarantee it can cure you, raged Long Chen. This girl went hostile faster than the flipping of a page. I'm not sick. You're the one with the brain illness. It was clearly a death trap, but you still went. Don't you agree that you must have a brain illness? Len Yuian chortled. Fine. I admit I have an illness. Long Chen couldn't help sighing. This was actually something that you set up. But I actually risked my life charging in. Long Chen felt himself to be very laughable. 